Thank you, sir. We shall keep standing as we play. The first element for the state Mizoram Lalmon Lalmon Moa Lalmon Maui Lalmin Zuala Lalrong Puya Ramnai Sanga Lalbiak Tanga Lalbiak Kua Manglal Thama, Aisak Malsong Kima, Lal Luang Kima Malsong Fela. The first element for the Assam are Ayushdas, Gopal Raba, Sar Nazri, Sanjay Bumis, Mindu Mei, Situ Basumatri, Manas Pratim, Sri Sudita, Dipu Mirda, Vishnu Bodoloi, Musuka Nazari. The mage official for this, for this first mage, main referee is Sterling, assistant referee one, Kuzule, assistant referee two, So welcome ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we're underway once again, the second day of the Northeast Games, Northeast Olympics. It is another big game today, it's Mizoram who've had barely 12 hours to recuperate from yesterday's encounter against Manipur, against Assam. Another very good prospect of a football game here, of course, Mizoram are in blue and red, Assam are full in red today, and this promises to be another crackerjacker of a match. Another humdinger that we're bringing you live here from Sportscar Senior, of course. We're here early morning in Chile, Chumokadima today. 
as we were yesterday, as we will be for the duration of the whole tournament. So as I was saying, this is another game that, uh, well, both these teams would love to win. If Mizoram get a win or a draw today, they will probably go through to the next round. Not probably, they will go through to the next round with a win or with a draw. Assam, well, a win is all that is uh, going to keep them alive in this competition. A draw will take it to the last game against Manipur where they will have to improve or they will have to get the same result as Manipur. So if Manipur draw against Assam, Assam will go through, Assam have to win, Manipur have to win. So it's going to be an interesting affair, that one also. But we're focusing on today, we have three games happening today, Tripura against Meghalaya happening at 11 o'clock in the morning. And then at 3 o'clock, we have Nagaland against Arunachal Pradesh. It's going to be another very good game encounter there between those two sides, top of the table in Group A. It is, of course, Mizoram against Assam. In this match today. So yesterday's game saw Nagalan beat Tripura by one goal to nil. Arunachal Pradesh beat Meghalaya by two goals to one. And, Man and Mizoram demolished Manipur by four goals to nil yesterday. Today, well, we might see a different story altogether. With uh, Assam fresh into this tournament today and Mizoram <clears throat> just barely having 12 hours of rest in between games. So we do apologize if there was a lack of a few minutes. We were getting our in order to talk to Well, that's a decent effort there. It 
It is nil nil between Mizoram and uh, Assam at the moment. Deadlocked in this uh, interesting game of football today between these two sides. Uh, Assam now with possession. Ball to Mizoram again. Nice reverse pass. Mizoram coming forward. Malsam Femwa over the bar. It is Malsam Fela, sorry. And it took a deflection, so it goes out of play for a corner kick for Mizoram. Like I said, a draw for Mizoram, and they will be through to the next round, to the semi finals. A win for Assam opens up the group nicely once again. Because <laughs> Manipur will have a chance in the last game if they beat Assam to qualify for the semi finals. So it's going to be an interesting match, this one. Of course, a win for Mizoram. They will go through and uh, it will be a shootout, pretty much. A, a pre semi final, like a quarter final, you could call it, between Manipur and <laughs> Assam. Some coming forward, cleared away though by Mizoram. We're joining us now. Well, Mizoram, Lalmanauma, Munmawia, Kyangte, Ratpuya, Ramgai Sanga, Lalbiak Tanga, Lalbiak Klua, Van Lal Tanga, Isaac Lalaukima, and Malsam Fela. And for Assam, Ayush Das, Raba, Narzari, Bumij, Mintu, Situba Sumadri, Manash, Konwar, Murta, Bertoloi, and Narzari. Ball for a sum again. So, decent ball into the box. A sum getting on the edge. Shot coming in straight into the hands of the goalkeeper.
So 14 and a half minutes in and it's uh, nil nil between Mizoram and Assam. Mizoram come forward again. No foul says the referee. Nice turn in the box, but uh, cleared away though by Assam. That's blocked, and uh, ball is once again with the Assamese side. Remains nil nil here in uh, Chumokai Dima. That long distance strike there by Assam straight into the hands of the goalkeeper Lalmwan Lauma. I do have a bit of a cold today. I guess uh, a change of weather here in Nagaland isn't helping me today. Straight into the feet of the goalkeeper. Chance here for Mizoram. Oh yes, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Absolutely stunning. They take the lead against Assam. And it is 1-0 for Mizoram against Assam. First goal of the game. And it is 1-0 for Mizoram against Assam. Beautiful goal. Very nicely taken. It 
is number three, Van Laltanga, with the goal. <clears throat> His first goal of the competition. So 1-0 for Mizoram early on in this uh, first half after 18 minutes Van Laltanga with a goal so what a start here for the Miso side the win for them today and they're through to the semis exactly what they wanted is on again lost this time as some recover it in a dangerous position Back again with Mizoram. And a long ball forward. It was out of play for a corner kick for Mizoram. opportunity there once again for uh, Mizoram good save by the keeper and hit the crossbar afterwards Good game, this one.
So 1-0 for Mizoram Assam now on the attack free kick for the team from Assam. Shot. Oh, nearly. Grazed the outside of the post. That was a good effort there for uh, Assam. Again, keeper comes out and heads the ball away rather awkwardly. for Mizoram again. <laughs> Team Blue uh, playing a decent uh, brand of football in this tournament so far. And again, I, I do apologize if uh, I'm not feeling 100% today. I've got a bit of a cold. The weather here in... Uh, Chumoke Dima is not uh, helping me. <sighs> Obviously, the change of weather coming from the south in Kerala, going all the way to the north in Chumoke Dima into the mountains. It's not uh, really uh, helping me at all, to be fair with you guys. So, I do appreciate if uh, you guys today don't absolutely murder me or roast me. Ball back with the keeper Ayush Das. That goes out of play for a throw in for a Mizoram. Oh, second goal of the game. Offside though. Celebrations cut short in it. So celebrations cut short there for Mizoram. <clears throat> they thought they had scored the second goal. Reality is they hadn't. It had been uh, chalked off for offside. And a long ball forward. That's a free kick there for uh, Assam. Side this time. <laughs> Beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. Mizoram carving us some open like a hot knife through butter. 2 0. And this looks like it's already uh, in motion that Mizoram are going to win this game. What a game. What a goal. What a team. Look at this football here. Again, it's small, some fella holding the ball up nicely. 
And look at that ball, tremendously done. And I guess it's that guy again, Van Laltanga, with the second goal of the game. His second goal of the game, look at him go. Look at that, beautiful game. And it is 2-0 for uh, Mizoram here right now. They are dominating this encounter against Assam. So it's 2-0 and Valal Tango with both goals of the game so far. He's uh, making a case, a strong case for Man of the Match today. That's another game, that's another foul for Mizoram. It's a yellow card for number four, Boomage. They are dominating this encounter here in Mizoram today. 30 minutes in, it's 2-0 for the Mizos against Assam. Before Boomich comes over to apologize to his uh, counterpart player, but uh, well, Mizoram are absolutely running away with this game and they're running away with this group. They beat Manipur yesterday 4 0, they're beating Assam today 2 goals to nil. And uh, so far, so good if you're a Mizoram fan. For the latecomers, this morning first match is played between Mizoram clad in blue and red jersey and Assam in red jersey. Till now, Mizoram is leading by two goals to me. So it goes out of play for a corner kick for Ms. Autumn. Once again with a sum, now the goalkeeper. So Sanjay Bumic has been uh, shown a yellow card. Mr. Resilient is asking for a change of commentator. Well, that's not going to happen. You're going to have to deal with me for the remainder of the tournament. At least today, I'm sick. I'm not well. So, uh, well... Here we are, though. Not sick, but I do have a bit of a cold, a bit of a runny nose. Should be better by the afternoon for the Nagaland against the Runachal Pradesh game. Ball once again with Mizoram. Assam recover possession, and uh, they're looking for a counter-attacking option. But uh, so far, anything that Assam has done... Hasn't really uh, had any fruit or bet any fruit in today's game. 
They are struggling to keep up to speed with this uh, Mizoram side. Even though Mizoram have only had around 12 hours of rest, if you think about it, they finished the game by around 5 o'clock yesterday. And for this game, they should have got up by 5 o'clock in the morning today. 5, 6 o'clock, they should have had your breakfast two hours before the game. So at least, at least, they uh, had to get up by 5 or 6 in the morning. So they've had pretty much just 12 hours of rest. So number 12 coming off for number 15 for some. Manish replaced by number 12 here. On a kick. Cleared away though. Number 12 is Amar Jodi. So Jodi coming on. Chance here for Mizoram for a third. A good value for this. Plays it back. Hits the referee. <laughs> that was probably going in, you know, and it hit the referee. <laughs> oh, we've seen it everything now. That was probably going in. Referee got in the way. What a block by the referee. That's a handball by the referee. The referee has committed a handball in the game. Inside the box, he should be sent off for that, the referee. He should be sent off. Look at that, look at that. Inside the box. Oh, clear handball. That should be a red card for that referee over there. He should be sent off, sent packing. And, uh, well... <laughs> I love football. I love Indian football. All these crazy things seem to happen here in India, and uh, it's just fascinating. Seriously, it is. Oh, my word. So, ball again now with Assam. Once again, the Assam team. Uh, Controlling possession. You guys think the referee should have seen a red card there for that uh, handball inside the box? He was denying a clear goal scoring opportunity, wasn't he? He should have red carded himself. <sighs> Football in its most beautiful state can sometimes be rather rather crazy, to be fair. Ball with the Mizoram. Mainga Kyangte, commentator, we love you. I know, I know, I know you guys do. I know you guys do. Ball in Mizoram. Nice football. Chance for a third. Crossbar. That goes behind for a goal kick. See, now I'm starting to feel a bit better. I had a little bit of fix. I had a little bit of codeine. And now I'm starting to uh, feel a bit better. Thirty-seven minutes in. It is uh, two 0 for the measles against the Sam. They are controlling this encounter. There was an air header there. Ball for Mizoram again, though. Well, some fella is good, but that ball was, uh, well, not a good one, was it? Ball for the big fella. The silky, silky big fella. Beautiful ball. On side. He was on. Oh, he was on side. You could see he was on side. Anyways, it's fine. We forgive him. Good 
Ball in for some now. Header. Goes well wide in the end. Vallal Ingeta. I like you, Mr. Commentator. Well, cheers to that. I like myself also. I like myself too much. Anonymous offering me uh, something that I should not be saying out on air. Something that uh, I should be having, but I'm not going to. Unless I want to lose all capabilities of commentating in future games today. Ball is uh, with Assam. Number 11, this is Bordeloi. It's into the box, cuts inside, shoot, 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 shoot. He doesn't. Oh, what a chance that was. Side there and uh, scoreline remains 2 0 for Miss Autumn. Mr. Resilient is saying, We will welcome you, come to Miss Autumn. <laughs> well, I can't say Miss Autumn has been on my bucket list, but why not? You guys take care of everything for me, I'll, I'll make sure I go there. So, it's a big. Uh, big effort that we're taking here at Sports Car India to be here at Nagaland once again. We were here last month for the Nagaland Olympics. We're here once again for the Northeast Olympics, Northeast Games. And you know, it takes a it takes a big effort from all of the team. I'm just pretty much the tip of the spear when it comes down to the work that we do here with uh, with Sports Car India. I'm the voice that you guys hear. I'm the entertainment that you guys love. I'm the guy that at the end of the day you guys appreciate. But... Let's not uh, take away from the fact that it's all a team effort here at Sports Car India. We have a lot of uh, crew members that also deserve equal love. So let's hear it out from you guys for the cameraman, for Jay Carter, the director of the whole operation here in the Nagaland Olympics, especially the football side of things. So uh, a big round of applause to them, of course, because without them, I cannot be doing my job and you guys will not be entertained. As the great Roman general Maximus Decimus Aurelius said, are you not entertained? Corner kick for a sum. It's an in-swinger. Easy catch there for Lalmoa Nauma. I said his name correctly for once, oh my God. Another round of applause for that. Ball now again for a sum, returning it back to the goalkeeper, Ayustas. And as you can probably feel already, uh, that coding on VIX is starting to take effect. I'm feeling so much better. It is a free kick now, though, for Assam. And it's going to be uh, just 20 seconds left of this uh, first half. It is Mizoram to Assam nil. Both goals scored by uh, Valal Tanga, number three. Playing in an advanced position today. And that is uh, the end of the first half. Van Laltanga and Mizoram 2, Assam 0. Cracking first half for the Mizos. We're going to take a short break. I'm going to carry on working on my Vix and my Codeine and uh, everything else that I have to be taking in order to uh, get much better. As you can see, the the lady referee with a huge smile there. She's she's had a good job today. She's done a good job today. 
all three referees. So, my friends, time for a short break. A little bit of coffee, a little bit of chai, and I'll be back with you guys in 10 minutes' time.
So, welcome back. We are here for the start of the second half between Mizoram and Assam. It is 2-0 for Mizoram. Both goals scored by Val Altanga. Two very good goals, to be fair. You should go back and watch some of the highlights, real. And, uh, well, Mizoram have one and a half feet in the semi-finals already. A win today. A win or a draw today will see them go through to the semis. So they could potentially be the first team to qualify to the semifinals today itself on the second day of the tournament. So we're going to be starting again here. Mizoram in blue and red. Assam in full red. It's going to be a change here for Assam. Number seven coming on for number 14. Number seven coming on for number 14 is the change in this second half. So Mayuk Gogoi coming on. Gogoi. So. Mizoram against Assam. 2-0 for Mizoram. And it's going to be a corner kick for Assam early on. So then Swinger, high into the air, and that's poor. That's a very poor corner kick. You have the chance to put pressure early on on the Mizoram back line, and they haven't done that. This is a goal scorer of Alal Tanga. He's got two goals from midfield. That's amazing. I agree with you, Bomb Bomb. The commentator needs cold go. I agree with you completely, mate. Ball now again with a sum. Shot coming in from distance and it goes wide in the end. With uh, the Mizoram goalkeeper, Lalmoa Nauma. Assam now in possession. Ball with the team in red. It's number 17. That's uh, Kanwar. Ball back with number five, Raba. Malsam <laughs> Femwa. Oh, a lucky ball there. Chance here for a third. Oh, what a ball. Oh, no, he's not. Oh, I don't think he was offside there. Side for uh, the Zoram there, which was a bit dubious to be fair. Not offside by a country, Mali was on. Oh, well, that's two offsides already that were not offsides. Could have been worse for Assam to be fair. Ball now with a team in red, looking for a quick reply. Andrew Lamwan Sanga say Malsam Fenwa. Well, he does remind me of Akin Fenwa. If you remember that guy from Wickham Wanderers, he was over 110 kilos. He was a bodybuilder and just retired last season, scoring goals for fun in the Championship and League One for Wickham Wanderers. So that's why I call him Malsam Fenwa because he reminds me of Adebayo Akin Fenwa. And if you don't know who Akin Fenwa is, I suggest you Google him up. Adebayo Akin Fenua 
And he today is Malsam Fenwa. There you go. I know it's Malsam Fella, the big fella. Was a man of the match yesterday's game against uh, Manipur. Goal and assist. Look at him go. As graceful as a ballerina. Ball now for Assam. Assam keeping possession of the ball. It's not a bad ball there for a sub. <clears throat> oh, yes. They're going to go back just out of nothing there, a sub. They pulled the goal back. And, well, you can't say they haven't There's deserved the it in the second half. They've in favor of Assam. The pressure rise up front. It's Bordoloi with the goal, Zero number 11. Two, one. So, 2-1. Bordoloi with the goal. Well, that's a bit of shock to the system. It was a number 11, sorry. It was, in fact, number 19. Murda with the goal. And Bordoloi with the assist. So, 2 1. Oh. I was I'm going to throw this away. Awesome fella. Ball now for Mizoram again. Couldn't get that. Uh, with Mizoram once more. It is 2 1. For uh, Mizoram, 48 minutes into the game. This is Van Altanga, the double goal scorer for Mizoram. This game suddenly has come to life. Cross coming in. Keeper comes out and gathers with ease and aplomb and bowls the ball out. And uh, Assam are on the counter attack here. Not happening though for Assam at the moment. Trailing by two goals to one. Murta with a goal. That is uh, half the deficit here for Assam. This is number four, Kyangte, to Van Altanga. Nice bursting run down the wing by Van Altanga. It's gone out of play for a corner or for a goal kick. We shall have to wait and see now. It's going to be a corner kick for Mizoram. Chan Naga, Joel is back. I really did miss you, man. Well, cheers for that, man. I appreciate that. I was here last month only for the London Olympics. The weather, though, is not its not helping me today. have a little bit of a cold and a sore throat, and that's a very poor corner kick. Or was it? Well, the ball is still there in the danger zone. Eventually cleared away by Assam by any means necessary. Well, that was a poor corner kick. Look at this. It wasn't good. But then somehow this happened, and... It, Malsam Fala nearly, nearly got his second goal of the tournament. Boy, Mizoram. Let's not forget, by 11.30 today, Megalia will be playing against Tripura and uh, Andhra Pradesh. Arunachal Pradesh. I made the same mistake again. Arunachal Pradesh, not Andhra Pradesh. Arunachal Pradesh will be playing against Nagaland at 3 o'clock today. I do apologize for that. <laughs> I mean, oh. Aruna, Andhra, they're very similar. So you, you, 
you can really understand the confusion. Even though one is in the very south of India and the other one is in the very north of India. So two one. So double substitution here for uh, Mizoram. Twenty five and twenty four coming on. So twenty five and twenty four. Coming on here in this uh, second half. Number 25, Zoram Tanga. And 24, Sang Sanglian Mawia. I love these Mizo names, they drive me insane. Ball with Assam. Spreads the ball wide. Once more Assam in possession. Tries a back heel. Doesn't work out. Lal the Rot fella saying, Can I sing Mizo song? <laughs> Are you nuts, mate? Are you crazy? I could give it a try, but not in this condition right now with the cold that I have and the stuffed nose that I have and everything else. So, not in this condition, mate. Ball back again with the sum 53 minutes into the game. Some trailing, but uh, not out of this game. Ball is Oram. It's number seven, Lalbia Klua. Long ball forward. Back to number three, this is uh, Mintu. Football by Assam. Final ball, though, not there at the moment. He's on side here. He's on side here. Good save by the keeper, Ayish Das. Again, this game has opened up nicely, hasn't it? Here comes the sum. Looking for the equalizer. That's a decent ball in. Not a good first touch, though. It's going to be a corner kick for Assam. Glorious chance for Van Tanga to score a hat trick today. <laughs> Who would have guessed it? the game trailing by two goals look at this finish look at this oh beautiful elegant fantastic 
beautiful header. And it's 2-2. Nice cross in by number 16. Look at that header by number 5, Rama. And it's 2-2. Two -two. And uh, this game is back where it started. Back in square one. 57 minutes in. It is Mizoram 2, Assam 2. This game has just taken a huge twist here. Which uh, we were not, uh, not expecting after the first 45 minutes. But such is the beauty of football. You never expect these things to happen. And they do. 2 all between Mizoram and Assam. And now Mizoram, perhaps, perhaps, deep down, still knackered after yesterday's performance against Manipur. Van Laltanga recovers. Malsam fella, the big fella, the big fella, the big fella! Mizoram 3, Assam 2, and he's back on the score sheet with a tremendous finish. Mistake by number 3, Min 2. And Van Lothanga lays it off to Malsam Fela. Look at that. He's not going to miss, is he? He is lethal. He is the man at the moment. Look at that. Into the top corner. And he makes it 3-2. What a game. Ho oh, ho, what a goal. And uh, Malsam Fella has given Mizoram the lead again. This is Van Laltanga looking for a fourth Mizoram. Good defending this time by Assam. And all of a sudden, my, well, my blood temperature, my blood level has gone up and uh, all of a sudden my cold has just vanished and disappeared. This game has come alive. Ball for a sound man, it goes up and white. This game in a space of five minutes has taken so many twists and turns. It's just absolutely unreal. 59 minutes in. Mizoram 3, Assam 2. And uh, I'm not entirely sure what you guys are saying in Mizo or whatever language you guys are speaking about me. All I can see is commentator, 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 commentator. Say it in English, guys, so I can also understand because obviously I'm not from Mizoram, I'm not from Nagan, I'm not from the Northeast. I'm from the UK, I'm from Gibraltar. So just say it in English so I can also reply back to you guys. It only seems fair, doesn't it? Ball now with Mizoram again. Also, a fella there confirmed as a goal scorer. Well, there really isn't too much confirmation, is it? You can see him from a mile away. Ball now with Assam. It is 3 2 for a Mizoram. Number three now, Mindu. There's a song in Nagaland, Mintu Loves Inky. Well, here's Mintu on the ball number three. <laughs> 60 minutes in, one hour gone, three, two. Ball now for a sum again. Assam now have it all to do once again. They thought, well, we come back. It's 2-2. Two, two. <laughs> we are level against Mizoram. And then, uh, well, bang. This guy on the ball now, Malsam Fela, scores a third. 
And uh, you know why I'm just so so amazed by Marcel Feller because, like I said yesterday, let's be frank here, he doesn't have the body of a football player, does he? He has the body of a wrestler, body of a of a judo a guy, a sumo wrestler perhaps, but he doesn't have the body of a football player. But yet again, he proves that all you need to have is good skill. Good skill and good awareness and good positioning. And boy, oh boy, he is tremendous at what he does. Graceful like a ballerina. Look at this third goal there. Well, we're going to see it afterwards. Ball for Assam. Keeper comes out and, uh, well. Look at this third goal. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Van Altanga does excellent. And Malson Fella, look at that. That graceful running. Look at him go. And that finish. Well, what can I say? 10 out of 10. Sees a chance, takes a chance. As simple as that. Can't ask for anything more from your striker. Ball now for Mizoram again. Chance here for a fourth. Puts the ball into the box. Keeper gathers. Enthralling game, this one. Well, this game continues going on. It is 3-2 for Mizoram. Ria Sinata saying, commentator having a common cold. Well, yes, I am. Yes, 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 yes. I'm not going to deny that. But yet again, are you guys not entertained? Here I am. Even when I am uh, semi-dying here on the commentary box, it's still... Uh, Giving you guys something to cheer about and something to laugh about. Ball now with a the sum. They have to get a goal back here once again, unless. Because uh, if they lose this game, it goes all the way down to the last game against Manipur. Whoever wins that qualifies. A draw will see Assam qualify because of goal difference right now. Manipur have a minus four. Assam have a minus one. That's why it's so important for Assam to keep it as tight as possible if they do lose to give themselves a double chance with a win or a draw against Manipur in the final game of the Group B. <laughs> 65 minutes in, 15 minutes left. Along Shukla saying, Joel, speak in Spanish. You guys like it when I speak in Spanish, don't you? It gives you guys La Liga vibes. Chance here for Assam. Una vez más, estamos acá en Chumoke Dima, en Nagaland, para este tercer encuentro entre Emisora y Assam. Estamos en un. Momento del partido curioso porque 3 a 2 está haciendo un gran, gran encuentro entre dos equipos muy igualados. Mi zona me está jugando mejor que Assam, pero ojo eh, que Assam a la contra ya ha marcado dos goles y puede causar muchos problemas a este equipo de Mi zona. Malsam Femua with the ball now. Clear away though by Assam. with Assam again looking for an equalizer reverse pass into the box cleared away though by Mizoram and it goes back to the goalkeeper 11.30 will be the next game between or 11 o'clock I'm not I'm not 100% sure to be honest um, 11 or 
between Megalia and uh, Tepura. And uh, the last game today, 3.30, Aruna Chal Pradesh against Nagaland. 3 o'clock, sorry, not 3.30. Raymond Lal Sangzwala, commentator needs RT-PCR test. Well, <laughs> Shang Lao Ang, La Liga Light. Well, as long as it's light, it's fine. Commentator, please speak in Nagamese. Moi Laganam Joel Ase. There you go. A bit of Nagamese for you guys. Moi Laganam Joel Ase. That's the only thing I know how to say, pretty much. Ball now with uh, Mizoram once more. Cleared away. And uh, now is uh, Assam with possession. <coughs> Mizoram now on the counter. Looking for the pace of Malsam Femwa Malsam Fella, sorry Came away by Mizoram again sixty eight minutes in Mizoram three Assam two Back to the goalkeeper, back to Ayush Das. Well, let's let's not uh let's thank the Lord that it's not uh, COVID this. <laughs> People asking me to speak in Mizo, so I got no clue what to say in Mizo. Anonymous is saying he can see me blushing from the stand. Stop praising. Well, uh, guys, just keep on going, guys. Keep on going. Ball now for Assam. Ball into the box and easy enough there for the goalkeeper Lalmoa Nauma. Kaloma. Kaloma. Is that thank you in Mizo? I'm not 100% sure. Ball now for So Kalome. Kalome, is that thank you in Mizo? I, I, I hope it is. Here comes uh, Mizoram again. Safely into the hands of the goalkeeper. So I hope that's uh, thank you in Mizo. I'm not 100% sure. Ball now for Wow, people. Uh, Calling me Joel Pratap, seventh <laughs> of February seventy three. Well, that's not me, mate. Definitely not me. Uh, <laughs> definitely not me, mate. My God, I'm not even born in seventy three. I'm born in nineteen ninety, guys. I'm just thirty three years old. Jesus, you guys like uh, inventing your stories, don't you? So, 3 2 for Mizoram. It's been a cracking game. And uh, as I mentioned before in the first half, uh, echoing the words of the great Roman general Maximus Decimus Aurelius, aren't you guys entertained? It's a fantastic game. It's a fantastic event, these Northeast Olympics, Northeast Olympic Games. And uh, we're just proud to be here at Sports Car Senior, of course, uh, bringing you everything live. We had. Uh, 
we have a lot of games. Uh, not just in football, we have basketball, we have volleyball, we have uh, tennis, we have table tennis, we have sepak takro, we have so many different things that we're doing uh, for you guys here in, uh, in the Nagaland, in, uh, in these Northeast Olympics. And, uh, you know, it's, it's not easy. I am pretty much the tip of the spear, the point of the iceberg that you guys see uh, with the voice, with the entertainment that I can produce for you guys. But at the end of the day, I cannot do this without uh, the work of the uh, backroom staff that we have, you know, the cameramen that produce the, 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 the videos, the editing, the editors, of course, the social media handlers, and uh, obviously our director for, at least for the football, which is uh, what I'm doing, this uh, competition, this tournament, uh, Jake Gardas. So a big round of applause to them also, because, you know, without them, it's pretty much impossible for me to be here with you guys. So uh, a big round of applause to everyone involved in Sports Cars India for making this possible for you guys to enjoy and to obviously have fun with during these four or five days that we're going to be here with the football. Ball for Mizoram again and coming forward. Keeper comes out and gathers. Seventy-three minutes in. <laughs> you guys asking me if I'm Naga, if I'm Nizo, if I'm Mate, if I'm anything. Guys. <laughs> oh my god, I'm not even from India, guys. I'm from the UK. You guys are absolutely crazy. Alon Johns, yes, yes, definitely. Yes, 100%. 100%. Ball now with uh, Mizoram. <laughs> 74 minutes in, just six minutes left of this encounter. Ting ting, I agree completely, hundred percent. Ball with uh, Assam, trying to score a late equaliser here. Trying to find the space, the opening, to get through that shot from distance. Goes well wide. Ball with uh, Assam. Now they have just five minutes left. And number nine is coming on, replacing number 16 for Assam. So just uh, five minutes left for Mizoram to hold on here to get a, another three points and qualify for the semi-finals. Which will happen on Friday. That's a foul for Assam. CVA Blues. I support Liverpool Football Club, of course. The only, well, the most successful club in the UK. Done that since I was uh, 
since I was a kid, pretty much. So, 3-2 for Ms. Autumn against Assam. If you guys want to ask me personal questions, you're more than welcome to follow me on Instagram. JRW underscore 90. JRW underscore 90. That's my Instagram account. So, JRW underscore 90. You can also obviously follow, follow Sportscast India on Instagram also for more updates. You're going to see that third goal again by Malsan Fela. Look at that. Look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. Graceful, like a gazelle. So a uh, corner kick for Mizo uh, for Assam. Cleared away. Seventy-seven minutes, three minutes left. Ball for Assam, cross coming in, oh! That just flashes in front of goal. What an opportunity that was. For Assam. Two minutes left of this uh, first half. Second half, sorry. And, uh, well, my cold is getting a little bit better. Still dealing with it, of course, as best as I possibly can. Do remember to like, share and subscribe our YouTube channel as here comes Mizoram again looking for a fourth. Good save by the keeper. So do remember to like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel, of course. Also follow... Sportscast India on their social media handles on Twitter or X as it's commonly known now and uh, also on Instagram Sportscast underscore India and of course if you want to follow me well JRW underscore 90 that's my personal account JRW underscore 90 back to the game that was a good save there by Ayush Das Just a minute and a half left of this game. Plus, of course, whatever the referee wants to add on. And then after this match, we have Megalia against Tripura. Both of those sides looking for a win to try and get through Group A. Nagaland play against Arunachal Pradesh later on at 3 o'clock. ball forward looking for one of the Nizo players he does chest the ball down that's a corner kick Well, we're into extra time here now. Let's see how much the referee adds on. We are witnessing the today's first match played between Mizoram in blue and red jersey and Assam in red jersey. Till now, Mizoram is leading by three goals to two. The next match will be played between Meghalaya versus Tripura. Corner kick for Mizoram. Back post. Ball is still in play. A 
chance on Femois. Good challenge there by Assam. 3-2, just moments away from another victory here for Mizoram. It's been tougher than it was yesterday. That's for sure. So just a reminder, now at 11 o'clock we have Megalia against uh, Tripura. And at 3 o'clock we have Nagaland, the home team against uh, Aruna Chal Pradesh. Four minutes of added on time. We've already had nearly one and a half. So that's going to be interesting to see how that goes, how that unfolds. Assam with the ball, cleared away by Mizoram. So, Mizoram have played two games back to back in the space of 12 hours. And here they are, still standing. Performing admirably against the fresh Assam team. For Mizoram again, Malsan Femwa onside over the bar this time. Oh, he lacked the composure. He lacked the guile. Didn't think I was going to say that about him today. But that was a chance to have a fourth goal for Mizoram and really, surely just seal the game there, there and then. Ball for uh, Assam. Just a minute and a half left. Guys are enjoying this game as much as I am, that's for sure. One and a half thousand people on our live chat. Welcome all of you. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe our YouTube channel. And do follow us on our Instagram handle, social media handles. Sportscast underscore India. And my own personal one, JRW underscore nine zero. So sportscast underscore India and JRW underscore nine zero. So do give us a follow and uh, keep up to date with all the information about uh, the Northeast Olympics, of course, and other sports that we're going to be broadcasting soon enough. Ball is with Assam. Just 30 seconds left. 3-2 for Mizoram against Assam. Ball gets played in and... Uh, Goes out of play for a goal kick. into extra time of extra time. Mizoram with possession. Offside, says the referee. Assam with the ball. Perhaps the last chance saloon here. Ball is in the air. Punched away by the goalkeeper, doesn't take any risks there. Assam with possession. Shot, just goes wide. So, goal kick for is on him. Look, Valtron, Mr. Commentator, how much can you bench press? Pretty sure more than you can, mate. Pretty sure more than you can. Also, Femwa, free kick there by the big guy. It's uh, going to be a free kick for Assam. Last chance saloon here. And it's going to be a yellow card for... Nelson Fala. Zosangliana Pachao, commentator eight snails. Actually, you know what? Uh, back where I'm from in Spain, 
we do have snails for Easter. It's a traditional thing. Um, I lived in Spain for many years, so uh, yeah, they do have that. I, I don't particularly like it, but I know my family members sometimes have. So yeah, it's, uh, it's not bad. And of course in France, it's a delicatessen, isn't it? The French with their snails and their frog's legs. 87th minute already. We've gone three minutes ahead of uh, extra time. Here comes Assam. End of the game. Mizoram 3, Assam 2. No time for the corner kick. So, Mizoram are through to the semi-finals. No effusive celebrations today for the Mizos against uh, Manipur. They were out and about cheering and celebrating like mad but today not so effusive they know that uh they've just got the job done and it's it's finished it's done completed they're through to the semi-finals and uh well time for a short break and uh we'll be back with you guys shortly for the megalia against Tripura game which will be starting soon enough but uh well the breaking news from the football tournament is uh that Mizora Mathru to the semi-finals. Valdal Tanga and Mal Samfela with the goals and Deepu and Gopal with the goals for uh, Assam. So, uh, well, cheers for everything you guys have put me through today. I do love the banter that we have. So uh, just give me a 20-minute break, guys. And uh, we'll have more banter now for the Megalia against Andhra Arunachal Pradesh game. Sorry, Megalia against Tripura. My bad. I'll see you guys soon. Take care and God bless you.
Formula name do little long shana sir. My name is Xiangjiu. Mula nam songmo sir. Hi, my name is Nzari Nizo. I'm the captain of women basketball Woka. We have done extremely well. I am so happy for the players of Pak District, and my humble wish is for them to excel even in the days to come. Tahun mana expectation kure kau? Bisi balik expect kau ini. Tahun mana medal sekarang bisi jutek ini aja, tu bisi kusi pasi ini. This is my first experience, and then ni dia berapa bisi jenis ye? My experience here in Nagaland Olympics it was good, and I've learned many techniques and all. So hoping for the best in the near near future. Bisi kusi pasi. Kesi kesi berak kimsa. Nanti satu lagi kesi baca atau kesi baca stand dia tu. Alat distribusi itu official kan tu milih je nih. Kau tak kiri kuri tu, bisik kian tu. Nak alam bi, hal tak kisah di stand tu. Satu kan bi, mampu bawa log baca atau satu kan bi mampu bawa tu kris. I participated in the basketball and me and my team have had a lot of experience. To be honest, we got a lot of exposure and it's all thanks to Nagaland Olympics. I'm very thank thankful for the organizer for organizing this uh, very Olympic association. And looking back to the first Nagaland Olympics, in a positive way, much more things have been done again. As a team manager, is I am so excited with full of new things and hoping for the best even in the days to come. Thank you, Nagaland Olympics Association. Thank, thank you, Nagaland Olympics. Nagaland Olympics, it's a good thing. It's a good thing. In the coming years, we live in our own school. We have a young generation of English corporate security. Thank you, Nagaland Olympic Association. Do continue to uplift the sports person of our state. Do continue to render your support, your love for the upliftment of sports and the sports fraternity of our state. Thank you so much. Nagaland is a contributing member of the Indian Olympic fraternity. Today, the ambition of the Nagaland Olympic Association is to follow the Olympic principles of Sitius, Fortius, Altius. The ambition to run faster, to get stronger, to jump higher. Naga people must come together under the spirit and the platform of sport. Nagaran Olympic Association want to bring all sections of Nagas to the platform of sport. Let us strengthen the cause of unity and oneness. Let us use sport to celebrate the exuberance, the energy and the vibrancy of Naga youth.
Are you guys enjoying yourselves today? Yes. Good. So you went to the office of the Olympic Association and you saw how it's functioning, what are the facilities there. Then you went to uh, the Indira Gandhi Stadium, you saw the facilities. So that's one of the best sports facilities that uh, we have in Nagaland. After that, you have come, you went to Chekrovolo. You knew who she was, right? So you got to see how archery is played today. So you know how tough that was, na? How hard it is to pull that bow, right? And how far the target is. So when you actually see it with your eyes, you tend to appreciate how hard it is, how difficult it is. So Chekrovolu was a former world champion, a former Olympian, and she has won more than 80 national and international medals. And she, she didn't get to go to good schools like yours. She didn't have good facilities like you people roaming around in a nice bus in Kohima. She had to walk kilometers to school. You know, she didn't have money to buy a bow and arrow to train. But she worked hard. She really worked hard. So from that small village in Peg district, she has gone on to represent Nagaland, represent India at the highest levels of international competition to the extent of representing India in the London Olympics. So her life exemplifies the fact that if you work hard, you can overcome any challenge. If you put in the hard work, you will surely achieve your ambition. My favorite part of the tour was uh, the, the archery because we got to meet the living legend. The favorite part of the day was when I went to the CN office. I got a very good tour and meeting Abu and knowing all the things about how the government works. He really motivated us in many ways and he told us that uh, nothing is impossible if we try. And I'm very grateful for the Nagaland Olympic Association for giving me this opportunity to take part in for a school trip. I really enjoyed the time when I got to the same office and I got a really good tour of the house. And he said that if we work hard then we don't have to run after success but success will come after us. So that was what really spoke to me today.
the state capital. Ladies and gentlemen, it is an honor and a privilege for me to be a part of this historic moment, which not only celebrates the spirit of sport, but also showcases the rich culture of the Northeast. To bear witness to the glittery commencement of the Northeast Olympic Games 2022, Let's all stand for the national anthem. The second match of the day will be played between Meghalaya versus Tripura. Meghalaya will be played in green jersey and Tripura will be played in black and white jersey. The match official for this match are main referee Sangnam from Arunachal Pradesh, assistant referee 1 Kesekito from Nagaland, assistant referee 2 Rihoke from Nagaland, fourth official Hasikonyo from Nagaland. So welcome back, guys, to uh, the start of this second game in uh, day number two. My name, of course, is Joel Williams, your favorite commentator, and it's Megalia against Tripura. Two teams that lost in the initial game, initial uh, day of the tournament. Tripura lost in the dying seconds against uh, Nagaland. They held on really nicely, so... To be fair, they didn't really deserve to lose, and that was a bit of a, a a dagger to the heart, so to say, for Tripura players and staff members and fans, of course. And Meghalia lost to Arunachal Pradesh by two goals to one. 
They began winning the game, and then they somehow managed to throw it all into the dustbin. So, Megalia in green against uh, Tripura in blue. This is a game that will determine the fate of one of these two sides. Whoever wins stands a chance of making it through to the next round. Whoever loses is pretty much 95% guaranteed eliminated from the Northeast Olympics Football Edition. Megalia will start this game now. And as you can already see, I've had a little bit of a, a cold syrup. Now I'm feeling much better. So here we go once again for the start of this second game. Megalia in green against Tripura in blue. I'm going to be reading the lineups for you guys for both of these sides. For Megalia, you have Urbanity, Macro and Go. What a name, Urbanity. Bashkem Shampru, Riding Star Karkongor, Banket Nongrum, Last Born Mopnyao. My question to him is, what if someone else is born after him? What would he call be last born or would he be called second last born? I shall never know. Pinisha Lapalang, Freestar Karbingard, Freestar, wow. Kaldalan on the Tripura team, we have the Jamatias, guys. It's as simple as that. It is Jamatia against Megalia today. So, Ami Jamatia Ringo, we have Sabah Jamatia, we have Shakti Tripura, we have Rajib Singha. We have Bulemoni Jamatia, Sanjoy Jamatia, Kuchan Jamatia, Boyer Jamatia, Pohar Jamatia, John Jamatia, and Santa Joy Ryang. On the bench, we have Buddha De Barma, Moni Tripura, Lalveng Darlong, Kumar Satnam Ghosh, Rajani Kanta Tripura, Amit Jamatia, and Pranab Sarkar. So all the Jamatias today are pretty much playing. The referee, Sangam, uh, assistant referee, Kevesito Viso, Vihoke Bihohe K, and Makshi Konwo. The fourth official match commissioner giving Guto Sekosie. So Megalia in green and uh, Tripura are in blue. Start of this second game of the day. And what a day it will be to see who uh, makes it through to the next round. Megalia with possession. Babu, <laughs> yeah. Corner kick now for Tripura. And it's played into the box. Overhead kick. Straight into the hands of the goalkeeper. for Megalia. Cleared away though by Tripura once more. Call for Megalia now. So, Megalia in green, Tripura are in blue. This is a game that uh, both of these sides really, really want to uh, want to win to still stand a chance of uh, making it through to the next round, to the semi-finals. Four for Tripura. Nice run there by Tripura. Cleared away though by Megalia, nice tackle. Hadi, Hadi, 
Well, he trips over his own feet. That's a bit of a shame, that one. That's a good... Uh, football there, a little bit of skill there. Ball is back with Tripura. The crowd is slowly gathering in. Uh, start at 9 o'clock in the morning with Mizoram beating uh, Assam by three goals to two and making it to the semi-finals of the Northeast uh, Games. And now we have uh, Tripura against uh, Megalia to see who, uh, who still stands a chance at the end of today to make it through to the semis tomorrow. Of course, Nagaland have three points. Arunachal Pradesh have three. They face off after this game at three o'clock. And of course, Meghalaya and Tripura are bottom with zero. So they have to win this game to uh, at least uh, get themselves on the scoreboard and stand a chance. That's all they can have. That's all they can hope for, standing a chance of making it through to the semifinals. Free kick for Meghalaya. So, free kick for Megalia. <clears throat> free kick, safely into the hands of the goalkeeper from Tripura, Ahmed Jamatia. Ball with Megalia again, nicely recovered. Football here by Megalia, keeping possession of the ball. Nice run. Gets into the box, but then cleared away there by the Tripura back line. If you saw anything yesterday about Tripura, is they're very solid in defense. So expecting them to continue being solid in defense today. They still have possession at Tripura. Megalia seven and a half minutes into this game. Nil nil between Megalia and Tripura. Covered there by uh, Tripura. <laughs> it's uh, been a very uh, slow start to this game, slow tempo. Both teams clearly not wanting to uh, fall behind in this match. And, uh, well, once again, ball is with Tripura. Well, 
Oh, Mingalia now on the counter attack. They have pace going forward. Look at the space between them. But again, the attack is not as quick as uh, they had hoped for. Good football down the wing. Crosses it in. Straight away though by the Buddha. This is Santa Joy. Mingalia now with possession again. Playing some decent football, playing the better of the two sides, Magalia. Throw in there for uh, Magalia. Good challenge there by Shakti. Number 16. For a goal kick there. Gonna be a free kick there for Megalia. So, free kick for Megalia in a very interesting position. Ball gets played in. Good punch away there by the Tapura goalkeeper. It's, it's been a very oh, very dull game so far between these two sides, Tripura and Megalia. Cleared away. Because that a play for a corner kick for Tripura. A chance now for them to try and knock the ball into the box and cause a little bit of havoc and mayhem. Yeah. 
Well, the corner kick coming in. Tripura with a chance. Blocked away by Megalia. That shot coming in from distance goes well wide in the end. Ball now for Megalia again. Back to the goalkeeper. Macro. Or Batnati Macro. Clears the ball away straight to a Tripura player. It's not the best of clearances there by Macro. That ball though goes worldwide in the end. So 17 minutes in, nearly at the halfway stage of this first half. Deadline is still, well, the game is still deadlocked at nil-nil between Megalia, Megalia, sorry, and Tripura. Some of the best of balls there for Megalia. game lacking a lot of intensity <clears throat> well perhaps just what we needed as a commentator after that uh, crazy game that we just seen moments ago For Megalia, that's nicely done. Good defending in the end.
Thank God they're not with possession. One ball forward, cleared away by Mangalia. Zapuda now on the charge, still nil nil this game. Oh, what a goal by Tripura! Santa Joy Real with a stunning strike. It's one nil for the men in blue. Oh, what a strike that is! Oh, we're going to see a replay of that again. finish Santa Joy Real nicely done into the bottom corner into the box for Tripura. That uh, goes, uh, well, that was uh, offside in the end. Wouldn't have counted anyways. So 25 minutes, it's a, it's a cracking uh, game by Tribura so far. They are playing really well here. I have to give them credit where credit is due. They've performed admirably so far and they're taking the lead against Magalia. And they could very well much uh, take a second goal here. Things are way going, they're going there. Playing really well here today. Thank <laughs> you. 
So Santa Joy Ram confirmed there as the goal scorer for Tripura. Leading by one goal to nil here in this match between Tripura and uh, Megalia. Now for Megalia into the box. Lead away by Tripura though. Shot coming in for Megalia. 30th, 28th minute into the game. Oh, just wide. Oh, what a chance for Megalia to level the game shortly after taking a deficit. So free kick here for Tripura. It's going to be a goal kick, sorry. Thirtieth minute into the game. Score that remains one nil for Tripura. Substitution number eight coming on for number ten for Megalia. So Nong Glo is out. Number eight. Let's come on. He's on side, Santa Joy Real. No, he isn't. So Mebanshan coming on. Mebanshan. Coming on there. Number eight. So nine minutes left of this first half. It hasn't been a classic game. We weren't expecting this to be a classic game, to be fair. Both teams struggled in their first games. Against Nagaland and Arunachal Pradesh, respectively. expecting this game to be full of fireworks. Tripura are leading by one goal to nil and we know how well they can defend. 
They only conceded against Nagalan yesterday in the last second of the game, literally the last kick of the game. So they can they can defend solidly. Meghalaya though struggled against Arunachal Pradesh in the second half. Big gush of wind coming in here in Chumoke Dima. Ball for Meghalaya. It's not a good ball that is, and it's going to go out and play for a goal kick. <coughs> Coming in, cleared away by Tsipura. Solid team, Tsipura. Can't really fault them for yesterday's game against uh, Nagran, where they lost by one goal to nil. They had a pretty good game, defensively at least. Ball for Megalia now. On the charge, on the attack. Tripura again defending. Ball is on the edge of the box of Megalia. Hoiked away by Tripura. Free kick, and it's going to be a yellow card for one of the Megalia players.
Strong ball for the former Gallia. That's not that's poor. That is very poor there by Megalia. They they're better than this. I'm not hundred percent sure as to why we're not seeing the best version of this Megalia team today. I was expecting them to be much better than what they have been in the past two days, to be fair with you. Well, we do have the big game of the day today. It's Nagarin against Arunachal Pradesh for a place in the semi-finals. Winner qualifies. The loser has uh, another chance to make it through. Last game, of course, will be Nagarin against uh, Megalia and Tripura against Arunachal Pradesh. So Tripura win this game and Nagarin win their game against Arunachal then that Tripura against the Runachal Pradesh game will be a virtual quarter-final. If, of course, Tripura win this game and uh, Arunachal win later, then that it's going to be interesting because Nagarin play against Megalia, Tripura play against Arunachal Pradesh. We could very well see three teams finishing on six points and everything going down to goal difference. So it's uh, it's going to be an interesting uh, interesting afternoon here today in Chimoke Dima. Run there for Megalia. Take away though by Tripura. It's not a good ball again. And uh, Megalia struggling to carve open this Tripura bat line. It's been very good defending so far by the men in blue. an opening there for Megalia. Didn't take it. Or with uh, Tripura once more. Good football this time by Tripura. Bursting through and uh, trying to feed the striker. Couldn't find him and that shot goes straight into the hands of Makro, the goalkeeper for Megalia. Plays the ball out quickly. He's onside, onside. Chance for Megalia. Oh, squares it. Go. Megalia level the game at the edge of the half-time interval and he's taken a knock and he's injured himself in the process. Unselfish play there by the striker, clean on goal. Lays it off to his partner who just slots it into an empty net. It's Megalia 1, Tripura 1. It's good for ball and uh, I mean, he finished that. He, he played the ball and uh, not sure if that was the right ball to be fair with you. Nonetheless.
so 1-1 one, one. Tripura against Megalia scores a level once more well half time interval I'm going to take a short break here and back with you guys shortly for the start of the second half this is an offer now played between Megalia and Tripura the goal stands 1-1 
We are about to witness the second half of the match played between Tripura and Meghalaya. Till the end of first half, the goal line stands Meghalaya 1, Tripura 1. So welcome back to the start of the second half between Meghalaya and Tripura. It's 1-1 here in this game. Just a reminder, today at 3 o'clock we have the blockbuster game. We have the box office match between Nagaland, the home side, and Arunachal Pradesh. That will happen at 3 p.m. after, of course, the lunch break that we're all going to take. So, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, buckle up for the ride because this Meghalaya game against Tripura, it looks like it's going to go to the distance. 1-1 so far, Justin Will and Santa Joy, the two goal scorers for both of these sides. We are here, of course, in the district of Chimoke Dima in beautiful, beautiful Nagaland for this third Northeast Games, Northeast Olympics, encompassing the eight different Northeastern states. Meghalaya, Tripura, Arunachal Pradesh, Nagaland, Manipur, Mizoram. Sikkim. And of course, Assam. Ball for Tripura. Cleared away by Tripura straight into the feet of Meghalaya. Nice football there by Megalia, cutting it back, but it was offside apparently. Number <laughs> four, therefore. Tripura Megalia recover. So Rajani Kanta has come on. So Kanta coming on. Number 13. It wasn't the best of first halves by either of these two sides. This is Reong, Santojo Reong. Cuts inside, crosses it out, but uh, Megalia clear the ball away. into the box very windy day here today in Nagaland in uh, Chumoki Dima that might play a part in the the games that we are bringing you today. Yeah. 
Well, false reporter. It's on side. Gets into the box. Oh! Chance overhead kick. That's a free kick. Well, Santa Joy Leon trying the overhead kick over there. Kense is saying that Jibuta back line is playing so well. They are indeed, but they played well yesterday also and they still managed to lose somehow. So, fingers crossed if you're a Jibuta fan that uh, that doesn't happen. That was a good block there by the Tripura back line. The Megalia, Megalia back line, sorry. Kept the ball in play, but... Uh, the shot went over the bar there for Megalia. Another chance goes a begging for them. Forty-eight minutes in, one-one. This uh, result does none of these teams any favors. To be fair, depending on the game result of tonight, Nagran against Arunachal Pradesh, we shall have to wait and see what happens in the third game and all the permutations that go with it. Ball for Megalia down the wing, down the flank, nice overlapping run. Oh, there's going to be a fight here. pushing players away. Well, tensions running high here between Megalia and Buddha. Referee. I've never seen a referee push a player like that. Never seen that before. Referee just manhandling the players. Red card 
and a red card for both players. Both down to 10 men. Wow. <laughs> so, both teams reduced to 10 players. Oh, they might as well start fighting now. Already sent off. Well, it's uh, an interesting turn of events. We have to see that again. Maybe the cameraman managed to grab it. Both players sent off here. One for Megalia, one for Tripura for fighting. <laughs> and the referee's coming over to see his linesman. Just to check if you need to send anyone else off. Cameraman should follow the referee, really. What is the cameraman doing? Follow the referee, cameraman. There's more action happening here. Because you're not following him. So both teams, down to 10 men. Well, that's another foul. So, uh, still 1-1, and uh, we can see the update now. Uh, both teams have had a player sent off. Uh, so, Tripura and uh, Megalia. Megalia playing with 10 men each. Along with... Uh, Galia. Too many spaces now opening up here for both of these sides. Megalia come forward, cuts inside, hits a side netting. So remember today, three o'clock, we have the big game of the day. We have uh, Nagaland against Arunachal Pradesh. Clearly the big game of the afternoon is there.
So 55 minutes in. It is still deadlocked at 1-1 here at Chumoke Dima. with around uh, 25 minutes left. It's been such a competitive game between these two sides. But to be fair, it's lacked a lot of, uh, it's lacked a lot of uh, technique and a lot of quality that perhaps we saw in the other game before this one. Just a reminder that today at three o'clock we have Nagaland against Aruna Chal Pradesh for a place in the semi-finals. Winner qualifies. The loser will still get another chance to make it through to the next round in their last game. Last game, of course, Nagaland play against Meghalaya and Aruna Chal Pradesh play against Tripura. So this result is also very important for either of these two sides' hopes of qualifying for the semis. Here come Meghalaya now down the wing. And easy enough there for the goalkeeper to gather. Nice bit of skill there. Nicely done. Ball is there with Megalia again. Gets to the byline. Can't get past a defender. That's good defending there by Tibuda. If anything, Tibuda have been very solid defensively. And here they come now attacking. Played in. Good save by the keeper. So 60 minutes have gone. Here comes uh, Megalia, cuts inside. Again, good defending. Thank you. 
60 minutes into the game and uh, still no no team the favorite to win this game it's all very uh, conspicuous so far here comes uh Tripura, not getting a hold of it though. Ball for Tripura now. Cuts inside, unleashes a shot. Blocked by the defender. Amigalia come forward. Foul. Magalia once more. We're eking away here. We're just meandering along in this game. It hasn't really been a great, fantastic match of football. We're just just continuing to inch our way through to this game, and um, with very little actually happening in this match.
50 minutes pending in the match. Tipura now with a chance. One on one. Oh my God. Oh my God. How has he missed that? Oh no. Oh no. What a miss. That's a bad miss. That's a very bad miss for Tipura. They could have won the game here today. That was atrocious. Finishing in the end by the team in blue. That was not good at all, guys. With 13 minutes left in this game, Tripura have had the best chance of the match by far. Sixty-eight minutes into the game. Ball is with Megalia once more. Sixty nine minutes, just eleven left here. And Tripura ah, well, looks like they're gonna be made to pay for those uh, errors in finishing today. I mean, they had a one-on-one -on -one opportunity to just score the second goal of the game. And they didn't take it. It's going to be a corner now for Megalia. to the back post.
Now to Buddha with a chance uh, to counter. He's offside, offside, offside. Oh, uh, well, not a classic game, has it been? I mean, we saw a pretty good game today in the morning at 9 o'clock between Mizoram and Assam. Finished at 3 2. This one has been a bit of a letdown, to be fair. is uh, with Megalia. Either of one of these two sides, if they get a win here today, they'll be counting their lucky stars oh, over the bar, oh, my word. Another glorious opportunity for Megalia this time. Tabuda had a similar one just uh, six, seven minutes ago. This time Megalia, that was number 18, I think, just as well. With a good opportunity to... Uh, take the lead in this game. Ball with Megalia. That's a poor cross into the box. The final ball has been a letdown in this game for both of these sides. On side, there has to be a foul. No, it isn't, says the referee. He took him out. <laughs> that was a wrestling move. He just took him out with a with an edge spear there. What on earth was that? Nice overlapping right. Is he going to get the, the answers now? Well, that's uh, a pretty strange decision by the referee. That's a rugby tackle, mate. Oh, my word. Five minutes left. No penalty again, says the referee.
Chance, oh yes! Megalia has scored! With four minutes left in this game. And it's heartbreak again for Tripura. Megalia have made it 2-1 against Tripura. Once again, Tripura and hearts are breaking. Decent save by the keeper, but the rebound. Nicely placed just above the defender's head. And Megalia are winning this game. That was a shot for a handball there, perhaps, perhaps not. That was a good save by the keeper. Couldn't get that one, though. So Megalia 2 to put a 1 on the basis of the game that we've seen today. Perhaps the correct score, to be fair. Just three minutes and a half left of this game. That's, of course, whatever the referee wants to add on. And, of course, we have Nagran against Arunachal Pradesh at 3 o'clock in the afternoon later on. So that's going to be another interesting game that we're going to be privy to. Seventy-eight minutes uh, after this, we will be having a lunch break and back coming back by three o'clock for the Nagaland game against Arunachal Pradesh. Throwing for Megalia. Colomero, last born, scored the last goal. <laughs> You're probably right, you know. Instead of last born, it should be called last score. Or last goal. Wow. Enough of the dad jokes, guys. Just a minute left here. Megalia 2, Tripura 1. Both teams reduced to 10 men for a, a brawl that happened in the center circle. Referee had no option but to send both players off. And this game is petering to a conclusion with Megalia looking to claim all three points. Football by Megalia again. This time Tripura do manage to clear. On ball forward. Keeper came out. Just headed the ball clear though. Five minutes of added on time here. Every time, five Thank <laughs> you. 
BK4 Tripura. Ball is for uh, Magalia. Chance here for Tripura though to level the game. Cross coming into the back post. Is that a foul? No, says the referee. seconds left. And this game will conclude with Megalia. Megalia winning this game by two goals to one. Unless you score a third. Shot coming in. Easy save there for the goalkeeper. again with possession. So, just a reminder, 3 o'clock, Nagaland against uh, Arunachal Pradesh. That's happening here also at Sportscast India, of course. Clearance away by Megalia. They have time on their side now. That's a poor ball. It's not going to matter though. Megalia are going to win this game. And there it is. Megalia 2, Tripura 1. Tripura are pretty much eliminated from this tournament already. They are done and dusted. Two games played, two losses. Megalia live to fight another day. They played Nagaland in the last game. So, guys, enjoy your lunch break. Enjoy your, your, your tea, your chai, your coffee, your lunch. Whatever you're going to have. 3 o'clock, we have a date. Nagaland against Arunachal Pradesh. I'll stay with you for that game. Till then, take care and uh, stay safe, guys.
16 districts, more than 2,000 sports persons, 4,000 plus participants, 347 medals. It was indeed the biggest celebration of sport, a celebration of the ability of the young people of Nagaland. A successful Nagaland Olympic and Paralympic Games 2022. My name is Xiang Ji. Hi, my name is Zarini Zhou. I'm the captain of Women Basketball Woka. We have done extremely well. I am so happy for the players of Pack District. And my humble wish is for them to excel even in the days to come. Don Man expectation Kuregu, Bishi Bal expect Kurinets, Pan and our medals come to see you taking us to Bishi Kushi Pajan. This is my first experience, and then Nidabra Bishi Janishi. My experience here in Nagaland Olympics, it was good, and I've learned many techniques and all, so hoping for the best in the near future. Bishi Kushi Pajan, Bishi Kushi Bra Kimse. I participated in the basketball and me and my team have had a lot of experience. To be honest, we got a lot of exposure and it's all thanks to Nagaland Olympics. I'm very thank thankful for the organizer for organizing this uh, very Olympic association. And looking back to the first Nagaland Olympics, in a positive way, much more things have been done again. As a team manager, is I'm so excited with full of new things and hoping for the best even in the days to come. Thank you, Nagaland Olympics Association. Thank, thank you, Nagaland Olympics. Nagaland Olympics, thank you very much. Thank you very much. In the coming years, to live in our organization, we will have a generation of the sport to visit the event. Thank you, Nagaland Olympic Association. Do continue to uplift the sports person of our state. Do continue to render your support, your love for the upliftment of sports and the sports fraternity of our state. Thank you so much.
Nagaland is a contributing member of the Indian Olympic fraternity. Today, the ambition of the Nagaland Olympic Association is to follow the Olympic principles of Sitius, Fortius, Altius. The ambition to run faster, to get stronger, to jump higher. Naga people must come together under the spirit and the platform of sport. Nagaland Olympic Association want to bring all section of Nagas to the platform of sport. Let us strengthen the cause of unity and oneness. Let us use sport to celebrate the exuberance, the energy and the vibrancy of Naga youth. Are you guys enjoying yourselves today? Yes, sir. Good. So you went to the office of the Olympic Association and you saw how it's functioning, what are the facilities there. Then you went to uh, the Indira Gandhi Stadium, you saw the facilities. So that's one of the best sports facilities that uh, we have in Nagaland. After that, you have come, you met Chekrovolo. You knew who she was, right? So you got to see how archery is played today. So you know how tough that was, na? How hard it is to pull that bow, right? And how far the target is. So when you actually see it with your eyes, you tend to appreciate how hard it is, how difficult it is. So Chekrovolu was a former world champion, a former Olympian, and she has won more than 80 national and international medals. And she, she didn't get to go to good schools like yours. She didn't have good facilities like you people roaming around in a nice bus in Kohima. She had to walk kilometers to school. You know, she didn't have money to buy a bow and arrow to train, but she worked hard. She really worked hard. So from that small village in Peg district, she has gone on to represent Nagaland, represent India at the highest levels of international competition. To the extent of representing India in the London Olympics. So her life exemplifies the fact that if you work hard, you can overcome any challenge. If you put in the hard work, you will surely achieve your ambition.
my favorite part of the tour was uh, the, the archery because we got to meet the living legend. The favorite part of the day was when I went to the CN office. I got a very good tour and meeting Abu and knowing all the things about how the government works. He really motivated us in many ways and he told us that uh, nothing is impossible if we try. And I'm very grateful for the Naglin Ombik SGN for giving me this opportunity to take part in for this trip. I really enjoyed the time when I got to the CM office and I got a really good tour of the house. And he said that if we work hard then we don't have to run after success but success will come after us. So that was what really spoke to me today.
के स्कोर के साथ लगातार I take this opportunity to you to once again thank each and every one of you and at the same time I would like to declare the second Northeast Olympics 2022 as closed thank you Olympic and Paralympic Games 2024, we have more than 6,000 participants comprising of the athletes, officials, technical officials, delegates, para athletes, performers, artists, volunteers.
16 districts, more than 2,000 sportspersons, 4,000 plus participants, 347 medals. It was indeed the biggest celebration of sport, a celebration of the ability of the young people of Nagaland. A successful Nagaland Olympic and Paralympic Games 2022. My name is Xiang Ji. Hi, my name is Nzari Nizu. I'm the captain of Women Basketball Woka. We have done extremely well. I am so happy for the players of Pak District. And my humble wish is for them to excel even in the days to come. I am not expecting to be able to do this. I am not going to be able to do this. This is my first experience. And then, I am going to be able to do this. My experience here in uh, Nagaland Olympics, it was good. And uh, I've learned many techniques and all. So, hoping for the best in the near, near future. I am going to be able to do this. I am going to be able to do this. I participated in the basketball and me and my team have had a lot of experience. To be honest, we got a lot of exposure and it's all thanks to the Nagaland Olympics. I'm very thank thankful for the organizer for organizing this uh, very Olympic association. And looking back to the first Nagaland Olympics, in a positive way, much more things have been done again. As a team manager, is I'm so excited with full of new things and hoping for the best even in the days to come. Thank you, Nagaland Olympics Association. Thank, thank you, you, Nagaland Olympics. Nagaland Olympics, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. In the in the coming years, to live in the world, we have to make sure that our young generation and the next couple of generations. Thank you, Nagaland Olympic Association. Do continue to uplift the sports person of our state. Do continue to render your support, your love for the upliftment of sports and the sports fraternity of our state. Thank you so much.
Nagaland is a contributing member of the Indian Olympic fraternity. Today, the ambition of the Nagaland Olympic Association is to follow the Olympic principles of Sitius, Fortius, Altius. The ambition to run faster, to get stronger, to jump higher. Naga people must come together under the spirit and the platform of sport. Nagaland Olympic Association want to bring all section of Nagas to the platform of sport. Let us strengthen the cause of unity and oneness. Let us use sport to celebrate the exuberance, the energy and the vibrancy of Naga youth. Are you guys enjoying yourselves today? Yes, sir. Good. So you went to the office of the Olympic Association and you saw how it's functioning, what are the facilities there. Then you went to uh, the Indira Gandhi Stadium, you saw the facilities. So that's one of the best sports facilities that uh, we have in Nagaland. After that, you have come, you went to Chakravolo. You knew who she was, right? So you got to see how archery is played today. So you know how tough that was, na? How hard it is to pull that bow, right? And how far the target is. So when you actually see it with your eyes, you tend to appreciate how hard it is, how difficult it is. So Chekrovolu was a former world champion, a former Olympian, and she has won more than 80 national and international medals. And she she didn't get to go to good schools like yours. She didn't have good facilities like you people roaming around in a nice bus in Kohima. She had to walk kilometers to school. You know, she didn't have money to buy a bow and arrow to train, but she worked hard. She really worked hard. So from that small village in Peg district, she has gone on to represent Nagaland, represent India at the highest levels of international competitions to the extent of representing India in the London Olympics. So her life exemplifies the fact that if you work hard, you can overcome any challenge. If you put in the hard work, you will surely achieve your ambition.
my favorite part of the tour was uh, the, the archery because we got to meet the living legend. The favorite part of the day was when I went to the CN office. I got a very good tour and meeting Abu and knowing all the things about how the government works. He really motivated us in many ways and he told us that uh, nothing is impossible if we try. And I'm very grateful for the Naglin Ombik SGN for giving me this opportunity to take part in the forest the trip. I really enjoyed the time when I got to the same office and I got a really good tour of the house. And he said that if we work hard then we don't have to run after success but success will come after us. So that was what really spoke to me today.
opportunity to, to once again thank each and every one of you and at the same time I would like to declare the second Northeast Olympics 2022 as closed. Thank you. Olympic and Paralympic Games 2024, we have more than 6,000 participants comprising of the athletes, officials, technical officials, delegates, para-athletes, performers, artists, volunteers.
16 districts, more than 2,000 sportspersons, 4,000 plus participants, 347 medals. It was indeed the biggest celebration of sport, a celebration of the ability of the young people of Nagaland. A successful Nagaland Olympic and Paralympic Games 2022. My name is Xiang Ji. Hi, my name is Nzari Nizu. I'm the captain of Women Basketball Woka. We have done extremely well. I am so happy for the players of Pack District, and my humble wish is for them to excel even in the days to come. Tan man expectation kuregi wo bishi bal expect kuri na tan na medals kam bishi juti kina shi to bishi kuchi pa shi na shi. This is my first experience, and then nede bra bishi jani shi. My experience here in Nagaland Olympics it was good, and I've learned many techniques and all. So hoping for the best in the near near future. Bishi kuchi pa shi. Kushi kushi bra kimse? Nothing sadhi bhi kushi baje aur kushi baje stand kar ya do. Alag district bhi nothing officials kaam bhi mili jane. Kotha kiji kuri do bhi experience bhi. Na kaalum bhi kaal dike shay bhi stand bhi. Sadhi kan bhi mam bawa log baje aur sir kan bhi mam bawa chhod kar sh. I participated in the basketball and me and my team have had a lot of experience. To be honest, we got a lot of exposure and it's all thanks to Nagaland Olympics. I'm very thank thankful for the organizer for organizing this uh, very Olympic association. And looking back to the first Nagaland Olympics, in a positive way, much more things have been done again. As a team manager, is I'm so excited with full of new things and hoping for the best even in the days to come. Thank you, Nagaland Olympics Association. Thank you, Nagaland Olympics. Nagaland Olympics, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. In the in the coming years, too, we will be able to do more. We will be able to do more. We will be able to do more. Thank you, Nagaland Olympic Association. Do continue to uplift the sports person of our state. Do continue to render your support, your love for the upliftment of sports and the sports fraternity of our state. Thank you so much.
Nagaland is a contributing member of the Indian Olympic fraternity. Today, the ambition of the Nagaland Olympic Association is to follow the Olympic principles of Sitius, Fortius, Altius. The ambition to run faster, to get stronger, to jump higher. Naga people must come together under the spirit and the platform of sport. Nagaland Olympic Association wants to bring all section of Nagas to the platform of sport. Let us strengthen the cause of unity and oneness. Let us use sport to celebrate the exuberance, the energy and the vibrancy of Naga youth. Are you guys enjoying yourselves today? Yes. Sir. Good. So you went to the office of the Olympic Association and you saw how it's functioning, what are the facilities there. Then you went to uh, the Indira Gandhi Stadium, you saw the facilities. So that's one of the best sports facilities that uh, we have in Nagaland. After that, you have come, you went to Chakravolo. You knew who she was, right? So you got to see how archery is played today. So you know how tough that was, na? How hard it is to pull that bow, right? And how far the target is. So when you actually see it with your eyes, you tend to appreciate how hard it is, how difficult it is. So Chekrovolu was a former world champion, a former Olympian, and she has won more than 80 national and international medals. And she she didn't get to go to good schools like yours. She didn't have good facilities like you people roaming around in a nice bus in Kohima. She had to walk kilometers to school. You know, she didn't have money to buy a bow and arrow to train, but she worked hard. She really worked hard. So from that small village in Peg district, she has gone on to represent Nagaland, represent India at the highest levels of international competition to the extent of representing India in the London Olympics. So her life exemplifies the fact that if you work hard, you can overcome any challenge. If you put in the hard work, you will surely achieve your ambition.
my favorite part of the tour was uh, the, the archery because we got to meet the living legend. The favorite part of the day was when I went to the CM office. I got a very good tour and meeting Abu and knowing all the things about how the government works. He really motivated us in many ways and he told us that uh, nothing is impossible if we try. And I'm very grateful for the Naglin Ombik SGN for giving me this opportunity to take part in for this good trip. I really enjoyed the time when I got to the same office and I got a really good tour of the house. And he said that if we work hard then we don't have to run after success but success will come after us. So that was what really spoke to me today.
opportunity to, to once again thank each and every one of you and at the same time I would like to declare the second Northeast Olympics 2022 as closed. Thank you. Olympic and Paralympic Games 2024, we have more than 6,000 participants comprising of the athletes, officials, technical officials, delegates, para athletes, performers, artists, volunteers.
16 districts, more than 2,000 sportspersons, 4,000 plus participants, 347 medals. It was indeed the biggest celebration of sport, a celebration of the ability of the young people of Nagala. A successful Nagaland Olympic and Paralympic Games 2022. My name is Xiangji. Hi, my name is Nzarini Zou. I'm the captain of Women Basketball Woka. We have done extremely well. I am so happy for the players of Black District, and my humble wish is for them to excel even in the days to come. Tan man expectation kure ki wo bichi bal expect kure na. Tan na medals kam bichi juti ki na shi to bichi kuch paisa na shi. This is my first experience, and then ne debra bichi jani shi. My experience here in Nagaland Olympics it was good, and I've learned many techniques and all. So hoping for the best in the near near future. Bichi kuch paisa. I participated in the basketball and me and my team I had a lot of experience. To be honest, we got a lot of exposure and it's all thanks to Nagaland Olympics. I'm very thank thankful for the organizer for organizing this uh, very Olympic association. And looking back to the first Nagaland Olympics, in a positive way, much more things have been done again. As a team manager, is I'm so excited with full of new things and hoping for the best even in the days to come. Thank you, Nagaland Olympics Association. Thank you, Nagaland Olympics. Nagaland Olympics, thank you, thank you, sir. Hello, this was sir. In a, in a coming years to live in the young generation and the sport to the young Thank you, Nagaland Olympic Association. Do continue to uplift the sports person of our state. Do continue to render your support, your love for the upliftment of sports and the sports fraternity of our state. Thank you so much.
Nagaland is a contributing member of the Indian Olympic fraternity. Today, the ambition of the Nagaland Olympic Association is to follow the Olympic principles of Sitius, Fortius, Altius. The ambition to run faster, to get stronger, to jump higher. Naga people must come together under the spirit and the platform of sport. Nagaland Olympic Association want to bring all sections of Nagas to the platform of sport. Let us strengthen the cause of unity and oneness. Let us use sport to celebrate the exuberance, the energy and the vibrancy of Naga youth. Are you guys enjoying yourselves today? Yes. Good. So you went to the office of the Olympic Association and you saw how it's functioning, what are the facilities there. Then you went to uh, the Indira Gandhi Stadium, you saw the facilities. So that's one of the best sports facilities that uh, we have in Nagaland. After that, you have come, you met Chekrovolo. You knew who she was, right? So you got to see how archery is played today. So you know how tough that was, na? How hard it is to pull that bow, right? And how far the target is. So when you actually see it with your eyes, you tend to appreciate how hard it is, how difficult it is. So Chekrovolu was a former world champion, a former Olympian, and she has won more than 80 national and international medals. And she, she didn't get to go to good schools like yours. She didn't have good facilities like you people roaming around in a nice bus in Kohima. She had to walk kilometers to school. You know, she didn't have money to buy a bow and arrow to train, but she worked hard. She really worked hard. So from that small village in Peg district, she has gone on to represent Nagaland, represent India at the highest levels of international competitions, to the extent of representing India in the London Olympics. So her life exemplifies the fact that if you work hard, you can overcome any challenge. If you put in the hard work, you will surely achieve your ambition.
my favorite part of the tour was uh, the, the archery because we got to meet the living legend. The favorite part of the day was when I went to the CM office. I got a very good tour and meeting Abu and knowing all the things about how the government works. He really motivated us in many ways and he told us that uh, nothing is impossible if we try. And I'm very grateful for the Naglin Ombik SGN for giving me this opportunity to take part and for the trip. I really enjoyed the time when I got to the same office and I got a really good tour of the house. And he said that if we work hard then we don't have to run after success but success will come after us. So that was what really spoke to me today.
opportunity to, to once again thank each and every one of you and at the same time I would like to declare the second Northeast Olympics 2022 as closed. Thank you. Olympic and Paralympic Games 2024, we have more than 6,000 participants comprising of the athletes, officials, technical officials, delegates, para-athletes, performers, artists, volunteers.
16 districts, more than 2,000 sports persons, 4,000 plus participants, 347 medals. It was indeed the biggest celebration of sport, a celebration of the ability of the young people of Nagaland. A successful Nagaland Olympic and Paralympic Games 2022. My name is Xiang Ji. Hi, my name is Nzari Nizu. I'm the captain of Women Basketball Woka. We have done extremely well. I am so happy for the players of Pack District and my humble wish is for them to excel even in the days to come. Don man expectation kure ki wo bisi bal expect kure na spam na medals kam bisi juti ki na se to bisi kuch pa jana hai. This is my first experience and then neither bra bisi jani she. My experience here in uh, Nagaland Olympics it was good and uh, I've learned many techniques and all so hoping for the best in the near near future. Bisi kuch pa she. I participated in the basketball and me and my team have had a lot of experience. To be honest, we got a lot of exposure and it's all thanks to Nagaland Olympics. I'm very thank thankful for the organizer for organizing this uh, very Olympic association. And looking back to the first Nagaland Olympics, in a positive way, much more things have been done again. As a team manager, is I'm so excited with full of new things and hoping for the best even in the days to come. Thank you, Nagaland Olympics Association. Thank, thank you, Nagaland Olympics. Nagaland Olympics, it's a good thing. It's a good in, a, in the coming years, to live in the we have to be younger generation and the support of the Thank you, Nagaland Olympic Association. Do continue to uplift the sports person of our state. Do continue to render your support, your love for the upliftment of sports and the sports fraternity of our state. Thank you so much. Nagaland is a contributing member of the Indian Olympic fraternity. Today, the ambition of the Nagaland Olympic Association is to follow the Olympic principles of Sitius, Fortius, Altius. The ambition to run faster, to get stronger, to jump higher.
Naga people must come together under the spirit and the platform of sport. Nagaland Olympic Association want to bring all section of Nagas to the platform of sport. Let us stand in the cause of unity and oneness. Let us use sport to celebrate the exuberance, the energy, and the vibrancy of Naga youth. Are you guys enjoying yourselves today? Yes. Good. So you went to the office of the Olympic Association and you saw how it's functioning, what are the facilities there. Then you went to uh, the Indira Gandhi Stadium, you saw the facilities. So that's one of the best sports facilities that uh, we have in Nagaland. After that, you have come, you met Chekrovolo. You knew who she was, right? So you got to see how archery is played today. So you know how tough that was, na? How hard it is to pull that bow, right? And how far the target is. So when you actually see it with your eyes, you tend to appreciate how hard it is, how difficult it is. So Chekrovolu was a former world champion, a former Olympian, and she has won more than 80 national and international medals. And she, she didn't get to go to good schools like yours. She didn't have good facilities like you people roaming around in a nice bus in Kohima. She had to walk kilometers to school. You know, she didn't have money to buy a bow and arrow to train, but she worked hard. She really worked hard. So from that small village in Peg district, she has gone on to represent Nagaland, represent India at the highest levels of international competition. To the extent of representing India in the London Olympics. So her life exemplifies the fact that if you work hard, you can overcome any challenge. If you put in the hard work, you will surely achieve your ambition. My favorite part of the tour was uh, the, the archery because we got to meet the living legend. The favorite part of the day was when I went to the CN office. I got a very good tour 
and meeting Abu and knowing all the things about how your government works. He really motivated us in many ways and he told us that uh, nothing is impossible if we try. And I'm very grateful for the Naglin Ombik SGN for giving me this opportunity to take part in for a school trip. I really enjoyed the time when I got to the swim office and I got a really good tour of the house. And he said that if we work hard then we don't have to run after success but success will come after us. So that was what really spoke to me today.
के स्कोर के साथ समझू का अगला लगातार opportunity to to once again thank each and every one of you and at the same time i would like to declare the second northeast olympics 2022 as closed thank you Olympic and Paralympic Games 2024 we have more than 6000 participants comprising of the athletes officials technical officials delegates para athletes performers artists volunteers
16 districts, more than 2,000 sportspersons, 4,000 plus participants, 347 medals. It was indeed the biggest celebration of sport, a celebration of the ability of the young people of Nagaland. A successful Nagaland Olympic and Paralympic Games 2022. My name is Xiangji. Hi, my name is Nzari Nizu. I'm the captain of Women Basketball Woka. We have done extremely well. I am so happy for the players of Pack District, and my humble wish is for them to excel even in the days to come. Tahun mana expectation kurang itu, bisi bal expect kurang net. Tahun mana medals kan bisi jutik ini aja, tu bisi kucing pasi net. This is my first experience, and then ni dia berapa bisi jenis ye. My experience here in Nagaland Olympics, it was good, and I've learned many techniques and all. So hoping for the best in the near near future. Bisi kucing pasi ye. Kesi kesi berakimse. Nanti satu lagi kesi bahasa atau kesi bahasa Pakistan dia tu. Alang distribusi nanti untuk official kan dia milih jenah. Kau tak kiri kiri tu, bisa experience tu. Nak kalung di pal dah kisah di Pakistan tu. Satu kan di mam bawa log bahasa atau satu kan di mam bawa cek bahasa. I participated in the basketball and me and my team have had a lot of experience. To be honest, we got a lot of exposure and it's all thanks to Nagaland Olympics. I'm very thank thankful for the organizer for organizing this uh, very Olympic association. And looking back to the first Nagaland Olympics, in a positive way, much more things have been done again. As a team manager, is I'm so excited with full of new things and hoping for the best even in the days to come. Thank you, Nagaland Olympics Association. Thank, thank you, you, Nagaland Olympics. Nagaland Olympics, thank you, sir. Our old visitors, sir. In a, in a coming years to live in a lot of years to live in a lot of young generation and a lot of people who live in a Thank you, Nagaland Olympic Association. Do continue to uplift the sports person of our state. Do continue to render your support, your love for the upliftment of sports and the sports fraternity of our state. Thank you so much.
Nagaland is a contributing member of the Indian Olympic fraternity. Today, the ambition of the Nagaland Olympic Association is to follow the Olympic principles of Sitius, Fortius, Altius. The ambition to run faster, to get stronger, to jump higher. Naga people must come together under the spirit and the platform of sport. Nagaland Olympic Association want to bring all section of Nagas to the platform of sport. Let us stand in the cause of unity and oneness. Let us use sport to celebrate the exuberance, the energy and the vibrancy of Naga youth. Are you guys enjoying yourselves today? Yes, sir. Good. So you went to the office of the Olympic Association and you saw how it's functioning, what are the facilities there. Then you went to uh, the Indira Gandhi Stadium, you saw the facilities. So that's one of the best sports facilities that uh, we have in Nagaland. After that, you have come, you went to Chakravolo. You knew who she was, right? So you got to see how archery is played today. So you know how tough that was, na? How hard it is to pull that bow, right? And how far the target is. So when you actually see it with your eyes, you tend to appreciate how hard it is, how difficult it is. So Chekrovolu was a former world champion, a former Olympian, and she has won more than 80 national and international medals. And she she didn't get to go to good schools like yours. She didn't have good facilities like you people roaming around in a nice bus in Kohima. She had to walk kilometers to school. You know, she didn't have money to buy a bow and arrow to train, but she worked hard. She really worked hard. So from that small village in Peg district, she has gone on to represent Nagaland, represent India at the highest levels of international competition to the extent of representing India in the London Olympics. So her life exemplifies the fact that if you work hard, you can overcome any challenge. If you put in the hard work, you will surely achieve your ambition.
my favorite part of the tour was uh, the, the archery because we got to meet the living legend. The favorite part of the day was when I went to the CN office. I got a very good tour and meeting Abu and knowing all the things about how the government works. He really motivated us in many ways and he told us that uh, nothing is impossible if we try. And I'm very grateful for the Naglin Ombik SGN for giving me this opportunity to take part in the forest retreat. I really enjoyed the time when I got to the same office and I got a really good tour of the house. And he said that if we work hard then we don't have to run after success but success will come after us. So that was what really spoke to me today. Let's all stand our feet for our national anthem.
third match of the day will be played between Arunachal Pradesh, clad in white jersey, and Nagaland in blue jersey. Chitatra, Dorji Wangchu, Nabamperi, Olik Tayeng, Tame Agung, Tardolu, Beron Karap, and Rao Singh on the bench. Alako Lingi, Tanya Raji, Akash Kino, Chao Jung Shetan, Akash Tao, Dorji Sewang, and Tagru James, the head coach, Kipa Barat. And for Nagaland, well, there are a lot of changes in this Nagaland side today. We're going to see that now. Of course, there is the inclusion into the starting eleven of Kubezu Vero and Suto Solangami. So we have Homo Kasumi, Hemping, Menonyekwo, Sanyem Konya, Kubezu Vero, Kevisantu Peseye, Lima Komzuk, Chugukwe Sumi, Neisede, Bape Nyimjong, and Suto Solangami. On the bench, Tiliang, Tokasumi, Haliel Yube, Irangao, Mugahuto Sumi, Hiveka Sumi, Jezengule Angami, Puloka Sumi, Lamsangin, Anapeto Sumi, the head coach, Roko Angami. So these are the lineups for today's crunch game between Nagaland and Arunachal Pradesh. It is, of course, a big game for both of these sets of players. And of course, my name is Joel Williams. I'm going to be a commentator for today's encounter. So we are going to have plenty of fun hopefully when it comes down to this game so Nagaland are going to be in blue and Arunachal Pradesh are going to be in white. It is time for the second game for Nagaland and Arunachal Pradesh, the third game of the day today. So, Nagaland in blue, Aruna Pradesh in white. We are about to kick off here, live from Chumokadima Stadium. Okay. So, we're off. Nagaland in blue, Aruna Pradesh in white. A must win game for Nagaland. A must win game for both of these sides. If they want to progress today, automatically to the semi-finals. A win will allow them the time and the peace of mind to rest players for tomorrow's game and do not really care much about the result. A loss today would mean that they have to do their homework tomorrow. Nagaland against Megali, uh, Megalia and Aruna Chabedek against Tripura. Shot coming in! Oh! <laughs> Nagaland have opened the scoring 
inside the first minute of the game. What a cracking effort that is into the top corner. It's 1-0 for Nagaland. Look at this once again. Again, the hero of the first game is now the hero of the second. And Nagaland have scored the goal inside the first minute. And here they come again. Chance for Nagaland here. I don't know Chan Pradesh all over the place at the moment. This is Peseye. Cross coming in. Nagaland now have possession. The home side. Foul for Nagaland. Well, what a start to this game. Kick for Nagaland again. Ball is in the box. Ball's going to play for a corner kick. Well, what a start to this game, isn't it? By Nagaland. Leading by one goal to nil already inside the first minute of the game. Sudosol once more. The hero against Tripura is now the hero against Aduna Chal Pradesh. Another corner kick, second in succession. Nagaland once more. Chance to cross it. Easy save there by Loyi. Oh, what a start to this game by Nagaland. They began this game like a house on fire. That is uh, easily into the hands of Homo Kasumi. <laughs> There is a big wind factor in the game today. Nice football once again. This is number six, I believe, number eight. Oh, what a start to the game by Nagaland. Do not try to come forward now. for Nagaland. That is a deflection and it goes safely into the hands or the feet, sorry, of the Arunachal Pradesh back line. Nagaland will recover possession again. This is Bepin. That's not a good ball there. Easily cleared away though by Arunachal Pradesh. Decent ball for Unachal Pradesh. Cross coming in. Oh, that was a glorious chance for Arunachal Pradesh to level the game inside five minutes. Good football down the wing. For Simpo. And that ball into the box to Dorji. Well, he just places it wide. Very good start to this game. The tempo is very high. Obviously, they're not going to sustain this for 80 minutes, but it's been a very, very good start so far to this match. Ball for Nagaland again. Overlapping run. That's a good ball in. He puts his head up. He can find someone in the middle. That's not a good cross. And the ball coming in. Tries a spectacular there. Why not? Well, he's already scored a cracking goal, Sudosol. It's good football by Nagaland. Controlling the game.
is uh, with Aduna Cha once more. So Suda Sol there, the goal scorer. So a very good start here for Nagaland. Leading by one goal to nil. Aduna Chapadesh now with a cross to the back post. Good save there by Omokasimi. Agung was trying to uh, get past his defending counterpart, Bipin. It's a good ball there for Aruna Pradesh. Nice looking cross. Not a good one though, but uh, the actual idea, the actual game plan there was good by Aruna Pradesh. Just uh, couldn't get it done, could they? He must come out a long way. It's not going to get there. In the end, it's good defending there by Adunachal Chal Pradesh. And a good overlapping run gets to the byline, cuts inside. But again, good defending there by the Nagaland defender. I think it was Sanyam Konyak down that flank. into this game. We're going to see the goal again by Sudo Sol. Amazingly well taken goal by Sudo Sol there. Oh, and uh, easy enough there for the goalkeeper, Loyi. Very fast start to this game. Very fast start indeed, and a very good start. Keep up. 
by uh, both sets of players, both teams. Now come forward, but good defending again by Nagaland. And safe into the hands of Homokasumi. Takes a touch and uh, takes a little bit of time off from the game. and uh, it's going to be a throw for Aruna Chow. Nagaland played in blue jersey, Arunachal Pradesh played in white jersey. The goal line stands Nagaland 1, Arunachal 0. With live action from Chumoke Dima. The internet was a little bit wonky for a second. <laughs> 
free kick there for Nagaland. Number 10 now for uh, Aruna Chaldolu. Free kick committed there by Hemping. comes out, misses it. That was not good goalkeeping there by Homoka. Now chance on Argonaut. On the counter attack. Opportunity. Oh, hits the back of the player there. Good challenge though. Nagala with the ball again. Opportunity, we can grab his foot around it. Yes, he can to the back post. Chance! Opportunity! Oh, goes wide. Oh, that was a glorious moment there for Nagala. He couldn't take advantage of it. the pressure here after 20 minutes Nagalan once more with the ball overlapping run gets to the byline good defending by Arunachal Pradesh it's all Nagalan so far here there by Nagaland on the edge of the box <clears throat> cross that's a poor header well they have been playing better today Nagaland than they played yesterday that's for sure is it gonna remain 1-0 are a pretty decent team themselves the MC talking in the background. Nice ball there for Lutra Pradesh. Into the box. Cuts it back. Good tackle there by Nagaland. So Homokasumi has possession of the ball.
Moba Cognac is saying, big fan of myself. Well, cheers for that, Moba. I appreciate that tremendously. AJ's World is saying, I have a runny nose. I do indeed. I'm sick, that's why. But still, I'm here with you guys trying to entertain you folks. for ball in. Oh, decent effort there. Chana is saying, where am I now? Well, I'm here in Chumokedima. Hence, I got sick because of the change of weather. though by Nagaland. Nice run there. So 25 minutes in, 15 minutes left of this uh, first half. Pretty sure by tomorrow I'm going to be 100% fine, but today is uh, one of those days, guys. One of those days, and no matter what I try, I'm going to be sick, anyways. It's going to be a corner kick now for Arunachal Pradesh. to the back post. <laughs> Easily done there by the defence for Nagaland. for a counter attack that's a pretty decent ball in but in the end it was good defending I have to give credit where credit is due that was good defending there by uh by Arunachal Pradesh Here and it's Nagaland 1 0. Goal scorer Suda Sol Angami. <laughs> I saw Katrin just saying that Joel, I was partying all night. That's why my nose is blocked. Well, you got me there, mate. You got me, unfortunately, you're right.
So it's going to be a throw in here for Nagaland. 28 minutes in, and it's 1 0 for the team from Nagaland. Goal scorer Sura Solangami after one minute. It's going to be another throw in there for Naga. Goal scorer was Sura Solangami. Throwing taken by Naga, and that's, that's a poor return there. Down the wing there for Nagaland. They are pressing and huffing and puffing. Oh, Aduna Charlini in there. Just 10 minutes left. That's a poor kick there by Homoka. That's a good ball though. That's number 10. This is uh, Dolu. Dolu cuts inside, Dolu, nice reverse ball, into the box. Shot, oh wow. That goes all the way to Twin Sang. Well, what a miss that was for Aruna Chal Pradesh. And uh, Bacon K, 40 rupees there, cheers for that. By paracetamol commentator. Well, I appreciate that. I will buy paracetamol with your 40 rupees. Thank you so much. It's a good game by Nagan and this one so far. They're not playing bad now, because they're doing good. Here they come again. Choice to get behind the Arunachar Chai Pradesh back line, but uh, not possible in that moment, in that situation. So a lot of long balls now happening here for Nagaland. Something that I guess they wanted to change after game number one, but it hasn't really changed that much. The only thing that's changed right now is that they got the first goal. Here they come again, Nagaland. That's one, two. Oh, good save by the keeper. Had to play for a corner kick. Keeper comes out, home and Sumi. Gathers that in the end. Ball 
always cleared away. Here comes Arunachal Pradesh, cross coming in to the back post and uh, oh, the coach was jumping in delight there. It was a good ball, decent positioning there by the Arunachal Pradesh player. And, uh, well, unfortunately, couldn't uh, guide his head into the back of the net. Thirty-fourth minute. Of the game. Moi Laganam Joel Asir. That's uh, my Naga. I'm going to try and remember other things that I learned over the years. Chance! Oh! Flashes just wide by Agung. Aroi moi etia commentary curia se. So there you go, a little bit of Nagamese for you guys. So you guys enjoy. Ball for Nagaland again. Ball uh, for Arunachal Pradesh. Some more Nagamis for you guys. I don't Nagamanu Kankini Kalogi Moi Laga commentary style. Huh? That's a bit of Nagamis for you guys. There you go. Ball for Nagaland. And ball. Handball, no handball, says the referee. Game, go, game goes on. Ball for uh, Nagaland once more. Cross coming in and Arunachal Pradesh clear the ball away, clear their lines away. The cross. Ball is back again with the home side, Nagaland leading by one goal to nil. Now you guys want Spanish, okay. Who am I to say no to you guys, eh? 1 a 0, está ganando este encuentro el conjunto azul, Nagaland. Están jugando bastante bien este, este difícil partido que se está viniendo contra un Natal Pradesh. Eh, pero bueno, están ganando un golazo de Surosol Angami por todas las escuadras que el portero no pudo hacer nada. Y bueno, está siendo un partido eh, muy trepidante, muy rápido con verti, 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 vertigo, mucho vertigo, y bueno, se ha sido un partido curioso. Back to English, guys. 38 minutes gone. Nagaland 1, Arunachal Pradesh 0. It is a, a goal scorer, Suro Solangami. So guys, before I stop speaking Nagamis, Moya Punikan Sobke Beshi Morom Kurea. There you go, guys. There you go. A little bit of Nagamis for you guys. 
football back again with Nagaland. They have controlled the game nicely. Ball played in and uh, cleared away by Nagaland. Foku Besei. Good defending though by Agung. He's a pretty decent player, this Agung guy. He's offside. So, three minutes of added on time here in Chimoke Dima. for the men in white at Runa Trapadesh. Looking for a good pass. It's not happening yet for them, is it? Nagaland are defending the lines very well and it's nicely done there by uh, Neisede. Loses possession in the end though. has to come on <laughs> Got to see the goal there by Sudo Sol once more So just uh, mere seconds left of this first half. I apologize, there was some sort of internet problem. We are in the hands of it. Right? So, anyways, it is uh, 
is one nil for Nagaland at the half pressed and pressed Nagaland defended well it is 1-0 for Nagaland against Indonesia Pradesh back again with you guys in 10 minutes time I need to uh, apply some fix on my nose I'll see you now
about to witness the second half of the match played between Nagaland and Arunachal. Nagaland played in blue jersey and Arunachal played in white jersey. Till the first half, Nagaland is leading by one goal. The match official of this match are Mary referee Ikude from Tripura, assistant referee one Danesh Shah from Assam, assistant referee two Bibek Chetri from Sikkim, fourth official Jingxian from Nagaland, and match commissioner Kevin Gunpyo Sikose from Nagaland. So a double substitution there for Nagaland. Number seven and number three have come on. So that is uh, Apeto Sumi Ampuloka Sumi. So Apeto Ampuloka. Apeto Ampuloka. So the start of the second half is upon us. There you go, Suda Solangami, the goal scorer for Nagaland. Remember, a win for Nagaland today, and they will qualify for the next round of the uh, Northeast Olympics to the semi-finals. <laughs> so it's 1-0 for Nagaland, uh, the goal scorer Suda Solangami. Decent ball there for number seven. That is Apeto. Ball lost there by Nagaland. Overlapping run for Runachal Pradesh. Into the box. Good challenge. Goes behind for a goal kick. One ball forward there by Nagaland. So not a good clearance there by Nagaland. Arunachal Pradesh have possession. They've had uh, one or two good chances at Arunachal Pradesh in this uh, first half. And now in the second half, they started rather brightly, to be fair. Crowd is uh, pretty decent in attendance here today for this game. That ball, more direct brand of football by Nagaland, of course. Chance here for Nagaland. Oh my word, that's a poor, poor, poor effort. That's a very poor shot. He had more time than what he thought he had. And he squandered that opportunity.
that's a foul. Is it on the edge of the box? Ooh. That's tough. Free kick. Oh, easy save there for Hamukasumi. So Aruna Chapadesha began this game rather nicely to be fair. Oh, flashed white. Well, that was so close. So, so, so close. seen the replay of that first goal but uh, well Aruna Chapradesh have had their chances in this game the goals without saying they've, uh, they've played rather well to be fair Aruna Chapradesh it's been a good game by them so far Nagaland players is injured. So, <laughs> Pestaya. So free kick for Nagaland. <clears throat> Ball is uh, with the Naga team. It's good defending though by Runachal Pradesh. Oh, it's 2v1 here. He gets the right ball and good defending once again by Nagaland. Surviving here in this game. It's not easy for Nagaland today. Opportunity once more. Good defending again. Not good surely. The whole event just gathers that ball. Nagaland is surviving here by the skin of the teeth. Aruna Pradesh turning on the style. In this second half. And the Naga side are just uh, well, playing the odds here. 
It hasn't been good so far. Cameroon looks up at this again. <clears throat> so, number two coming on for Nagel and replacing number six. Another change. So that is Leon coming on. Child coming forward. Game remains 1 0. Glorious chance there for Nagalan to make it 2. Didn't take it. So James and Tyen coming on, the two goal scorers in that game against Megalia. is uh, Cuvezovero holding on to the ball there. Controlling the game now. But the Runa Tapadesh, tough not to crack this team.
So, 13 minutes have gone in this uh, first, uh, second half, sorry. Still have around 25 minutes left, and uh, Nagaland are holding on in this uh, in this match, surviving as best as they possibly can. Good defending by Nagaland again. Well, the game is uh, <sighs> meandering along. Still 1-0. Guys are giving me good advice on how to take my sickness up. I shall follow suit after this game and I shall try and uh, feel better for tomorrow. <laughs> Someone's uh, getting a yellow card. <laughs> Referee looks like a... Like a model. Peto can't get there. Peto recovers possession though. All is for a Peto. A Peto, good save.
So ball is uh, with Nagel and corner kick. 20 minutes left of this game. Look at that guy running for his life, number seven. Corner kick in swinger. So the bad ball in. And it goes uh, out. saying it's going to be a throw now for Nagaland, that's for sure. One nil for Nagaland. At the end of the day, look guys, <laughs> I'm going to be very honest with you. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter how you win as long as you do win. Dokka replacing Surasol. So it doesn't really matter how you win as long as you win. So to be fair with you guys, I mean, I'm a coach myself. And some games you're going to play bad. But you still want to win. So if you play bad and you still win, that shows us somehow you're getting results under difficult circumstances. So it shows that you have a decent enough team. So Toka Sumi has come on for Surasol. Toka, Toka, Toka. So as I'm saying, I mean, look, if you play wrong, if you play bad, poor, poor game of football, but you still win, then that's champion material there for you. It is what it is. Toka Toka is still there. Toka Toka Toka. Toka Toka. Ball now for Rinochal Pradesh. Toka Toka Toka. That's a foul. The referee was just on top of that. Could see it with his own eyes. So the ball for Nagaland, 18 minutes. The, 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 the Nagaland coach loves loves Toka. Toka Toka. Toka Toka Toka. Long ball forward. Looking for Toka. <laughs> a shot! <laughs> Go! Nagaland! <laughs> 2 0! What a cracker! 35 yards out! Oh my word! He won the lottery. He bought a ticket, won the lottery. Take a bow, son. Take a bow. 2 0 for Nagaland. Who's crying now? No matter if you play good or bad, as long as you win, that's all that matters in the game of football, folks. Trust me. Ball for Nagaland again. Good goalkeeping this time. It's 2-0 for Nagaland. 
Hopefully we can see a replay of that goal. Let's go see here again. Did it take a big deflection? I think it did, maybe, you know. Oh, hit the guy's head. It hit the guy's head. It hit the guy's head. That's a, that's a goal. Wow. Nice ball there by Toka Toka. This is uh, number seven, Apeto. Cross coming in again. So Cuvezo Vera is a goal scorer. Nagaland are leading by two goals to nil. Here they come again. Cuts it back. Potoka can't get there. Potoka once again shielding the ball. Gonna be throw in for Nagaland. Good job there by Toka. I don't know what the replay of that is. It's a good skill, but that's it. Ball for Nagaland again. Back post. Keeps it in play. Cleared away though. Nagaland leading by two goals to nil at home here in Chumokaidima. Lost there by Cuvezo. Alunachal coming forward on the charge. Good challenge. That's not a foul. Oh my word. Referee telling them to calm down. I don't understand why he did nothing wrong, to be honest. That was a good challenge. Don't know what the problem with that is. That was a good challenge, that was. Oh, what a goal! Oh, my word! Oh, Aruna Chal Pradesh with the goal of the tournament so far. Nagaland to Arunachal. Oh, Nagaland to Arunachal Pradesh 1. Oh my word, we're going to see a replay of that again. Oh, standing strike. Oh my word, into the top bins. Look at this again. Look at this one more time. Oh, what a goal. Stunning. Well, it's 2-1, it's game on again. What a strike.
strike that was. 69 minutes, just uh, around 10 minutes left in this game then. The ball gets played in, Toka! Can't do it. Oh, Hobo Kasumi, the goalkeeper taking his time. Ten minutes plus injury time pending in this game. That was a good challenge, and uh, the ball is once again for Nagaland. <laughs> ball for Unachal again! Oh, White! Oh, they could have leveled the game. This game could be... 2-2 two, two and should be 2-2 two, two, to be fair with you guys. Oh, what a chance that was. What a chance that was. again safe into the hands of Homi Kasumi eight left plus injury time Nagaland again surviving by the skin of the teeth like they did against Tripura ball goes out of play for a throw in for Nagaland Ahead, cleared away by Runa Chal. Ball for Nagaland again. kick here for uh, Nagaland in a dangerous position goalkeeper is down injured I don't know why how 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 has he hurt his hand his arm how makes no sense at all Don't these players understand that the referee is just going to add on time? A 
like surely they have to understand that no matter how much time they waste here it's not going to end at 80 the referee is going to add like four five six minutes then 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 why why do this it just i've never understood it i really haven't understood it ever Beats me, it goes seriously, it does. So throw in four Nagaland. Chance stayed by the keeper. And saves it. <laughs> He's still injured. I don't understand how. Oh, chance here for Nagaland. Chance over the bar. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. As they would say in that meme, I don't believe it. How has he missed that? Easier to score than to miss. And he misses. I seriously can't believe it. Well, the goals of the tournament, we see one of the misses of the tournament. Wow. and gathers. Say, yeah, I'm recover two minutes left. Seventy-eight minutes in, and it's a uh, two-one for Nagaland. That's another good chance there for Arunachal Pradesh.
As of now, Nagar in the coast are winning 2-1. They're joining Mizoram in the semifinals. Chanso. Top of Desh now into the box. Oh! Oh! For all of you. For all of you. For all of you out there in the comment section saying that Homi Kasumi is not fit to play football. He has just saved Nagaland there. He has just saved Nagaland. Oh, what a save. What a save. What a save. for Unachal Pradesh. One player is down injured. Well, that's why you don't take uh, all the trolls seriously here in the YouTube chat because they clearly have no clue about football, to be honest. I'm like Asumi. I've seen him play for a couple of years already. He's a pretty decent keeper. Very decent keeper. So uh, I don't understand all the negativity surrounding the comments on the section there about him. He's a very good keeper. Goes without saying. He's just saved Nagel in there. So there you go. Literally saving Nagel. See, you guys have to uh, leave all these, uh, you know, issues about. Uh, people being this or people being that, that tribe or this tribe. They're representing Nagaland at the end of the day. So you should just all gather around and support your team if you're from Nagaland. And the same goes with Arunachal Pradesh. <laughs> 82 minutes in. It's 2-1 for Nagaland. Keeper. Guy that's that in the end. Let's see again. Was it a save or was it not a save? That's a save. You need to have reflexes to save that, guys. I just don't, I just don't understand. Doesn't matter what tribe you're from, you're all. Well done there, the goalkeeper. You're all from Nagaland at the end of the day, so you should be supporting the same. It's as simple as that. Same as if you're from Manipur, same if you're from Mizoram, same if you're from. It doesn't matter if they're better players or not. At the end of the day, maybe those better players. Do not to play in this tournament. Have you ever heard about that or thought about that? End of the day, Nagaland are winning two games from two. That is all that matters. And I said it once and I said it again. It doesn't matter how you play. As long as you win, the playing style won't be judged. And unfortunately, Nagaland have a very direct way of football, which is great. No problem. Fine. It works for many teams. Works for some teams. It doesn't work for others. It's certainly working for Nagaland. They beat Tripura by one goal to nil. And they're beating Arunachal Pradesh by two goals to one. So there you go. All is uh, for Arunachal Pradesh. There you have it. Atubu Kotsu is saying all the good Naga players are going to play for India against Afghanistan on the 22nd of March. That's why they're not available for selection here in the Northeast Olympics. They're playing for India. 
<laughs> a little bit of tongue in cheek there. So it is 2 1 for Nagaland against Arunachal Pradesh. Four minutes of active on time has already been uh, <coughs> elapsed. That goes out of play. Otik Lego. At the end of the day, you know I'm right. Ball for Aruna Chalpadesh, number 20. Oh, we've got Sumi gathers the ball. Throw in for Nagland. 85th minute of the game already. Five minutes of added on time have elapsed. Referee is looking at his watch. <laughs> Goal kick for the to dash. Well, there you have it. Nagaland are through to the semi finals. They beat Tripura 1 0. They beat Arunachal Pradesh by two goals to one. And, and now, no matter what happens in that game against Megalia, it doesn't matter. They're through Arunachal. to the next round. So, the final score Nagaland 2, to Arunachal 1. Arunachal Pradesh 1. It's been a fantastic day of football. Sudo Solan Cuvezo Vero. And uh, for Arunachal Pradesh, I think it was. Uh, Torji with a goal. So, it's been a pleasure being here with you guys once more. And, uh, well, we'll see you guys again tomorrow. Tomorrow we have another triple game uh, delight happening in uh, here in Nagala. Let me just uh, see the schedule that I have for tomorrow. Tomorrow on the 20th, sorry, 21st, right? Yeah, 21st. 9 o'clock we have Manipur Assam. <laughs> Winner of that qualifies for the next round. At 11, we have Tripura, Arunachal Pradesh. And at 3 o'clock, we have Nagaland against Magalia. So, Manipura Sound, 9 o'clock. Tripura, Arunachal Pradesh. Nagaland against Magalia at 3 o'clock. I will see you guys tomorrow once again at 9 o'clock in the morning. Remember, 9 o'clock, it's Manipur against Assam. A winner takes all. Winner qualifies for the next round. If Assam some draw, they will qualify courtesy of better goal difference. At 11, we have Tripura against Arunachal Pradesh. And at 3, we have Nagaland against Megalia. I will want to see you all tomorrow again, just so that we can have a, another conversation with you guys and talk about football once more. We only have until Saturday here together, so let's try and make the most of it. Today is Wednesday, tomorrow is Thursday, so we only have three more days left. So let's just let's just make the most of it, guys. So I will see you again tomorrow, 9 o'clock, remember? Manipur against Assam, 9 o'clock. 11 o'clock, Tripura against Andhra Pradesh. Uh, Arunachal Pradesh, sorry. 3 o'clock, Nagaland against Meghalaya. Till then, stay safe, take care, and God bless you all.